Slight technical difficulties. <laughs> is We're streaming. Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew. <laughs> Welcome to Wednesday. This is where we play new games on classic consoles at 60 frames a second. Make sure you're set to 60. Welcome to Twitch. Welcome to the live broadcast. Hey, unless friends. you're watching it on YouTube. And then and welcome you're watching it later. Wherever you're at. Yeah. Um, we've got Erlen here. We've got me here. Hey guys. We've got Atari on the floor. Man, Atari's he's Jack today. He's just he was bounded. Out of control. And he's printing shit off. He's attacking <laughs> the printer. Who knows what's going on in that feline you can, mind? You can kind of see his tail. He's just and, tweaking. Yeah, he's all over the place. Come here. Come on. We'll see. Oh, oh, there yeah, we go. Yeah, man, he's like, he's, he's, here. he's in dog mode. There. Yeah, Excellent. Hey, buddy. Now you're on camera. So we got some Thai chilies going on. We got some stacks happening. <laughs> we got some Cedamon guy. We got Audio was a little Audio is, of course. <laughs> <laughs> I tested it beforehand, but uh, apparently that's not good enough. Uh, let me try this. The theme of today is hubris. Yes. <laughs> How is this? Are we better now? Hopefully. It's set properly. Like, I tested it yeah. and watched it, and... Oh, it's good. Yes. It's so random. It's so random. Or is it good as in we're fixing it, or good as in it's good? It's perfect. Perfect. Yes. Yes, okay. Can't get better than perfect, friends. No. That's great. Perfect is perfect. So, today we have... The stacks. Yes. And do you remember playing the stacks? Oh, I remember playing the stacks okay. a couple times. We, I remember I was here for the very first time we did it. That's right. And we monologued for a long time about the movie and ignored the game. <laughs> and oh, I, yeah. I, I was we a, won't do that this time. Yeah, that okay. was a, that was a turning point. And I remember me and James had lunch afterwards, and he was like, "Man, we should probably make sure to like not just." <laughs> To stay focused on the games, yes. not because we just reviewed the movie for like forty minutes, and then we did the um, uh, in the twelve hour marathon. We replayed yes. it, yeah. and again hubris. We thought that we were going to somehow complete it in the twelve hour marathon. No, we made it through about four levels, and so this is great <laughs> that we'll do like a. De I didn't know we were doing this, but dedicated yeah. uh, show to this is awesome because it's big enough of a game and enough levels and involvement. There's p puzzle pieces to get and things like that. We you need to dedicate enough time to it, and if you only these kind of like adventure RPG ish kind yeah. of games, you need a bit of time to explore the world and to make maps to and to, to, and to make sure you get into the game enough that you can really show the audience what it's all about. And so I thought today, yeah, let's do it today. It makes let's sense. get into it. And, um, maybe we can find some inspiration for Thomas to, can works see. more on the game. He has yeah. said that it's like 95 to 98. He's throwing around percent done. I think it's 97. I don't know. <laughs> 97. <laughs> Maybe uh, a 98.5, you know. <laughs> so we'll see if we can, uh, you know, make some comments on it and yeah, figure it, out, uh, you know, ways to improve it or, you know, give him some yeah. pointers on directions to go with it um, or just declare it perfect. That's right. <laughs> Right, like it's, like our audio sync. No. Yeah, it's perfect <laughs> now. Um, so I've got some maps here and some uh, legends. Oh, this is good. So there's no. Be honest. Uh, oh, don't right. worry, man. We will. We'll be honest. Not in yeah. a yeah, in a, not in, in, a, a in a good way. Divisive way that it's like ah, it sucks. No, well that's not even honest. That's just that's just being shitty. Yeah, we want to be uh, constructive criticism because mm -hmm. the games we play, we want them to be better. We want them to either be the best games they can be. Yeah. So constructive criticism is always good. Yeah, and I, I learned by growing up on the internet, I think, that, you know, you begin by thinking your taste is the world's taste. Oh, and then you go, yeah. oh, wait, no, I'm just a dude. Like, I just, Everybody I just think things. and should think like me, because, you know, I have the best ideas. Because uh, I'm perfect. Ideas. Yeah. No, it's like everybody had different perspectives on Well, things. yeah, and then some games are for some people, some games are not. So even yes. if I don't like something, that doesn't mean that it's a bad game. That just means no. that I personally, in that moment, yeah. I'm not into it. And I can personally say I dig this game, because I've already played it twice, and I'm yeah. like, it, but. And I think we can be fairly objective, even with games of genres we don't enjoy. Yeah. Like, we can understand why a game may not work, e even if it isn't to our taste, or why it would work even if, if it's not to our taste as well. It's like, yeah. oh, this is a good game in its genre. I don't normally play those type of games, but, but I still is... think this, this is a, a really good representation. Yeah, I always try to like let you guys know if it's not my thing. So that way it's part of the thing, you know? Because <laughs> yeah. it's like it's important yes, to it just is. go like, hey, this is not my genre. So Especially if we're playing terribly. 
Yeah, especially <laughs> like, time terribly. We don't know how to play this type of game. I read in a book about writing, and one woman was writing about novels, and she said the reality is, is there's a lot of novelists who are like, yo, you got to try to like hook the TV audience people. Mm. And her perspective was, well, there's no point because people who don't like reading are right. never gonna like what you write because they they don't like the medium itself. They so don't why even get there? Yeah, yeah. So why try to write to someone who from the beginning is never? And it's the same with games. Like there's no point in trying to make someone like your thing that would never. Yeah, cater to your audience. Hell yeah. And especially cater to yourself, because then you'll uh, actually enjoy making (laughs) making the game and playing the game afterwards. Like, I would never make certain genres of game, because, like, I... I would never make a football game. Yeah. Because it's like, I don't watch football. That's why, I like, mean... bass fishing or, like, <laughs> golf right. was unimaginable that you turned me around on fucking bass Some fishing, surprising. man. surprising. Like, you pick it up, you go, oh, we're going to have to play a game. I just don't like anything about it. Then you end up like, this is amazing. Yeah, how is bass fishing one of the best <laughs> games I've played on the Atari? Like, what the fuck is happening? It's so what, funny. What dimension did we enter into? <laughs> but you start to like certain aspects of it. Like, I like the math part of the bass fishing game. Yeah. It's like, calculating which which fish to get at what time and how long it takes to get that fish and yeah there's the strategy part of it not the not the fishing part of yeah. it yeah the fact that it is fishing it's because I'm, I'm not gonna lie it's hard sell man <laughs> it's want to do some bass fishing some virtual bass fishing i'm yeah. like i think i'm good <laughs> <laughs> i'm okay yeah. so we're gonna play the stacks today uh it's a 2016 work in progress that's, oh that's great that's the last um version that thomas passed over um, probably the last time he's worked on it. This was originally made by uh, Mike Mika and Kevin Wilson, and it's being uh, now maintained and updated by Thomas Yens. Oh, thank you, Thomas. And he actually did consulting in the original release of it as well. We'll get into the history of it as well, because we got a lot of time. Yeah, man. We'll... Um, we're going to be going over the same history as when we presented the first time, because nothing's really changed. It's the reason it's named The Stacks. It, that, I believe, is from the book. That's it's, right. The, it's where the people um, live. Ready Player One is the home, is the stacks, and what they've done is they've stacked up a bunch of trailers on top yeah. of each other, because the, basically the trailer parks are not... They don't have enough space. Yeah. So, like, the, it's like the slums. Exactly. It's like in Vancouver. <laughs> now we got to build up. There's no it's more like, out. And so then, and then it's like obviously in the mythology of the thing, no one's really living in reality. They're just jacking into this. So they don't ritual. really care yeah, too much. I mean, they care, but they can escape from it any time, at all times. That's, uh, that's my understanding. At least. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's it. I didn't read the book. <laughs> I saw the movie, didn't read the book. Tan, you read the book. I've heard nothing but great things about the book. So many people yeah. have told me that yeah. personally, I'd enjoy it and. It's hard. I don't like reading fiction as much as nonfiction. Like, if I'm going to read, I want to read some nonfiction because mm. that's, I think I've just always loved studying. Me too. So, I'm, but that's just me. Like, there's no, oh, that's, that's probably the book. Yeah, see, everybody, I got to get off my ass. And, there we yes. Go. That's a really good picture. That's a great picture. Hit that link and you can check it out. That's the from the yeah, movie, I believe. Really nice. Oh, um, yeah, it looks like the movie. Book is great. Set me guy says. It. Yeah, we well, tell us how to uh, pronounce your name. Get yeah. me guy. Get me guys. Set me guy. So I want to thank uh, the Twitch subscribers who support the show. Uh, Cafe Man Two D, Captain Classic, Charles and Chad, Dan ABC. See, it's down the page now. Wow. Beside you right here. Uh, set me guy. So you did the C E T set. Me set. guy. I'm a, that's awesome. Uh, Charles and Chad, Dan ABC, Dietrich Harms, Drexall. He finally subscribed. He his his yes. like we were talking about it last episode. And I said, oh, do you have Amazon Prime? He's like, yeah. It's like, well, Just I, hit I don't the... see your name on our list. <laughs> Are you subscribed to something else? He's like, no. That's like, that's, what? That's some good producing, James. That's <laughs> what? Some... <laughs> and, uh, and it was like, oh, my God. I've been, you haven't been putting free money towards us. <laughs> um, em- Emano Ferreira. Emano, Emmanuel Ferreira. M.U. Dan. Ground Trooper Gix, 1978. I supposed to Johnny W C K Kal L Prime nineteen fifty nine Carl G Croco twenty six hundred Laud Mott M K Smith Mister Fix Nathan Star Marcy seventy Repentless V G Retro Salary Man Spartan five eight one the D Train thirty seven the Welshman eighty nine Thunkiston Tiki Dan K I think we're at our m- maximum like our f- biggest yeah. number of people we gotta like ever it's minimize that font and it's gonna add, get smaller and smaller we gotta transform and that into stacks man we yeah, need some stack stacks for goddamn subscribers you can support the show too and subscribe for free if you link your amazon prime to your twitch prime and click subscribe and we will personally give you a trailer that you can <laughs> put in your backyard and begin to stack on top of each other and probably plug not. into our twitch yeah, and you can not. stream just right 24 hours of, of zero page homebrew Right into your face. We will personally send that to you. Well, we certainly have enough uh, back catalog that'll keep you busy for a while. 
Uh, so I want to thank all the people that are in the chat as well. Set me guy thrust twenty six. Who is Thomas Yentz? Who is this game that we're wow. playing? Who is maintaining it and furthering it on? Azure six five zero two. Carl G. I supposed to. Uh, RC seven E. Dan A V C. And everyone else who is lurking or watching later on YouTube. Yeah. Uh, in the archives. I'll oh, see thrust. That sounds like a disaster. Make the list <laughs> random with the people who subscribe for longer have a best, better, best, better chance to be listed. Better chance to be listed first. You mean? That's oh. what he means, man. That's called a disaster. That's. Uh, I can. I think it actually comes in that. Uh, that might not be a bad idea. Form. But 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 the disaster part of it is like all of a sudden now we're we've created tiers of citizens we've produced a That's caste right. system and then people and start fighting the and fucking yeah, the little community devolves into tribal warfare yeah it gets ugly pretty soon we're slinging I, I like I like <laughs> alphabetical I mean it's 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 pseudo random we're based we're, on we're what socialists you chose. over here guys That's right from Canada That's right. <laughs> Um, so make sure you follow, subscribe, and click like on all the things. Twitch, <coughs> YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, we post on all of them. Um, so I was doing some research into uh, the game Rogue. I don't know if Rogue. we were discussing it last time. No, I time. don't think so. It's uh, one of the first RPG-style, map-style games. Oh. Um, yeah, have you heard of the term roguelike game? No, I haven't. Okay. But I mean, I I know for me, Rogue is just it's it's all the D and D stuff. But yes. that's not that's probably not that's, what it is. Oh well, it it's based off like it's it's styled it's named after that. Oh the yeah, the Rogue in D and D because it is very D and D like. It was originally programmed with like little characters A B C A through Z for all the yeah. uh, monsters, and like equal signs and dots for the maps, and it made up a uh, map on uh, just text based computer wow. systems. And it's a randomly generated maze um, with got random all, monsters. It's got all the shit that's the best. Wow. I know. It's it's wonderful. And I was doing some research what on it. What year was that produced? Uh, in the 70s? Man. Or early, 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 early 80s, I believe. I, I don't have it with me right now. But anyway, I was talking about it on the show the other day. And it's a game I really liked playing on uh, in DOS uh, in you know, the ASCII yeah. um, text format. And Rogue is actually open source and written in C code. Yeah. So uh, ARM is written in C code. Wow. So <laughs> just saying. somebody just saying, just saying it's translatable as long as you, you'd have to write a video driver for it because yeah. the display would be completely different. So you might as well make it graphics. But if you use the penult um, display, it'd be completely translatable and you just make the maps out of, you know, what, how Penalt displays it. Wow. And so somebody could very well make, um, rogue into it if there was enough memory. Um, but there's lots of, uh, uh, different constructs for Atari 2600 cartridges where there's a lot of memory. Uh, NetHack is probably the most famous example. So if you've heard of NetHack, probably no. not. But it's it's another one in the, in the line of Rogue. Yeah, Rogue, man. Rogue-like games, that was an early yeah. one. And then Diablo's my shit, there. man. That's, there. My, that's my favorite game. Been waiting to do a Rogue-like with a similar engine. I hope Excellent. I hope you do, so. man. That would be my my jam. Yes. I would say that I am if I was ever on a like a like a drinking pub night, you know where they do like <laughs> you have questions. Yes. If they were like Diablo 2 trivia. I think I could <laughs> beat most people. I I know unfortunately I I have reserved parts of my brain. Have I've memorized <laughs> rune words. I remember oh, memorized yeah. unique items. I know every like it's ridiculous how much um I know about that game. And that so was just clean up if if there was a uh, it was just category. That, just that category. Diablo I, 2 trivia. I really doubt that I would really ever th come up I, in there's no bar that would ever... Probably, maybe in, like, a retro gaming convention. There might... Because there are things like that. That's true. Trivia nights. So, there's a chance. There's, there's at least a chance there yeah. that that could come up. Or at but least that's... the Diablo series. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. So, the tragedy is, is that there's lots of my brain's been reserved. Completely <laughs> fucking useless. You shoved out lots of important oh, things yeah. to... 
routine. I don't remember Diablo what my two. sister's birthday is. Like it's fun. But out. you know all but the characters. Yeah, Diablo it's two. a bear creates an enigma. Like it's like what the it's important fuck? Stuff. It's important stuff. <laughs> if you want to teleport, that's the way to do it on a class other than the sorceress. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Uh, so let's get into the game so that uh, we don't see. do what we said we were gonna we didn't do. do before. Yeah. Hubris, friends. So let me capture the right screen. So we're not looking at my wonderful maps that I've created so that we can play I see this game. really good, legit great maps, man. Yeah, I hope they work really well. So, They're definitely better than me scrawling on a fucking blank <laughs> piece of paper with a yeah. pen. It's a, it's a step up from that, and that's all we can ask for sometimes. So there are four different um, kind of iterations of this game. Uh, you can see there's level one, or... Game one, let's so oh, yeah. call it game one, which is the original game that was released for the contest in relation to the book, Ready Player One. Then, which is so meta and cool because that game has Atari. Yes, game. it's very that's cool. That's why I, they probably I love it. That's why they linked it in and made an Atari game for the book. Uh, then there's level two, which is Thomas Yentz's extension of the original game. Um, then there's level three and four, which have bigger maps. Aren't they more randomized? Like I. Well, these are, like, you can take a look at this. It says C6AF. Oh, yeah, and you can type in the... And you can pick your map. Um, or you can just let it pick for you. Every time you go back, it changes. And so if you wanted to, like, work on something, we could write it down. We will be writing it down because if... What if we... Let's pick something, like, really, like, 11111 or something <laughs> stupid something like really that. Easy. Yeah, yeah. But we're going to play for the original game first because we have not finished the original game. That's a game. good point. So we have to do that. And that... That will lend itself well to me reading out what the original yeah. contest was in association with this. Um, so Ooh. let's get into that. We'll do the best that we can do. Yep. Because it's a big game, man. It's incredible work from you folks trying to like put together this entire thing. Oh, yeah. So we descend Ooh. into the nether of into the, the stacks. So... Let me just turn it down so it calm down a bit so it doesn't kick open. Yeah, so it doesn't destroy everyone's ears constantly. Check, check, check. A bit lower. There we go. Okay. So these, as you can see on the screen right now, there's six stacks. There's six trailers on the screen. That's what those are. Game one is not random. No. But thanks for letting us know. Yeah. So that we can, we can. Um, well, we'll still map it, but we don't have to worry about it being randomized. And I love this, the, 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 um, it's just a little detail, the ladder on the right <laughs> mirrors you because of the, I remember that's like, like, that's just a, like a little feature. Uh, sure. I think they would be very happy with you calling it a feature. Yeah, it's a very <laughs> intentional use of language Where's there. My, where's my pen? Oh, right there. On the... Oh, see, it's too handy. Yeah. Um, okay. So if you go to the left, we'll get our bearings. No, oh. not in there. Just to the left. Keep going. So this is A1, and it's the bottom left. And I so, don't think anyone recommends you run into this, like, fluorescent... I, I think you're fine running into it. This, like, rainbow, like... You don't die. Okay. It makes a horrible noise. It looks like you would be electrocuted. It kind of looks like him stretched out a bit. Yeah, it's pretty wild. Okay, so those things kill you. It's going to come around and kill you in one second here. Oh, oh shit. shit. So don't do that. Let's start over. Okay. <laughs> Press the button to skip this. You've seen that. Okay, stay on this level so you Will don't do. have to worry. Will do. Um, and I am going to map out. Oh, no, nope. now where are you going? Oh, I just, I'm in the same spot. Okay. So I just screwing around. I'm just ADD today. Okay. <laughs> like, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> so I know there's nothing on this screen. So we're going to map what's in each of those trailers on the second screen. Excellent. And then sort of go from there. Cool. This wall, the wall plays into a. Uh, a role in game one. Oh, it does. Ooh. Well, thank you very much. Tom. Well, thanks so much, man. Maybe is it is it that this one is perhaps not fluorescent and crazy? I mean, I in game one, we're in game one. Yes. Or does that? Do you mean game two? I think it means game one. Okay. He said game one. I hope so. We do. So, so let's go in here. Well, I remember this. You won't get killed if you stay there. Okay. Some some rooms you will get killed. Oh yeah, this is where your skills are going to be higher this than mine. This is actually mine. quite easy. You, just, you run. You follow the second one over, and then you go jump, jump, and you're safe. No, you're way too late. Way too late. You have to follow now. Okay, no, way I'm too late. I'm just going to like wait until I'm like right there. Now. A little late. Jump. Oh, jump, shit. jump. Okay, I'm going to flip this. 
Yeah, because I'm not very <laughs> in front of our gear. You may have to be the cartographer this time. It makes sense. I'm, I'm a much better cartographer. Go. There you go. And then jump at the end in case you just to, a little just to make slow. sure. So we got ourselves some points. Yeah, um, and that's just points. Yeah. That we don't have to map that. Oh. See, yeah, this is already a disaster. But Actually, I'm gonna put X's where there's nothing. So parabolic jump. Is that we know? Yeah. What's... Rather than a, it's like oh. it's an arc to jump. Which one was this? The second one. The second over? one over. Okay. Yeah, this is just, just points. Just points. I'm gonna put little X's for. Which means, like, there's, oh, yeah. there's nothing that you absolutely have to get. You do get extra lives for points, so... Well, that's not nothing. Let us let me make a... Just pee, um, let's see, st S for story. You could just do, like, or, like, or like dollar something for, like, money. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can turn the S into a dollar or something. Yeah. Hey, it works. It's just... Like, I'm gonna go check out this one here. Because sometimes there's absolutely nothing. Literally. Can you go up fast, more slowly than down slowly than down fast? Yeah, so it's like a. You're, you're working with gravity. And you jump, just in case. Okay. Actually, I did need it. Okay, a little So bit. which one are we at? This is the top, top right. Top right. And there's okay. nothing on the left. You could do an X on the, on the, on the top left. Oh, okay. Because that one, there literally isn't. It's just empty. Get out! Yeah, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> and the good thing is, w when we've mapped it, the map's still useful, even if you run out of lives. Like you have no lives left. We'll just do it until I die. Which is probably <laughs> gonna be. Down. What? Yeah, you're a little too close. Well, the other one, it was dodged. Ah, oh, see there we go. You keep going. Keep going for a while there. Keep investigating. Keep, in, keep going. <laughs> the oh yeah, maybe because maybe, you got to read some stuff. Yeah, exactly. So we can finish. Once you finish reading, then. So, you investigate, I'll read, and I'll mark it down. You let me know if I miss it. Um, so, we're going to delve into a little bit of history of why this was made, who it was made by, and what, what, like, what in relation to uh, it was made. I mean, it was made for the book, Ready Player One. Man, so, I got this a hamburger. is hamburger. This is a burger. However. It's the bottom right. Bottom, bottom right, correct. But what's pointless it, right now. It's too bad. That would have been awesome for the last one. But I like this fact that it, it's a little less demoralizing than other games because you know <laughs> that like, like if we do, whoa, okay. So you might want to go around. Yeah, it's not a bad idea. So that's some some dollar sign down there. That's good. This is a two. So, let's this take game, a look. This game pays to be methodical. So this game... This is nothing. ...was originally released in uh, 2011 for the Ready Player One book release. Um, this this build is from May 11th, 2016. It's a 16K F6 game. Uh, other games made by Thomas Yentz is Star Castle Arcade, Toy Shop Trouble, Boulder Dash, Swoops Mini Game Collection, Jammed, Starfire, The Stacks, a ton of trackball hacks, which are amazing. I've got them all up there. Uh, Ram Pong, Robot City, and Three Dots. Uh, this build is not available, but you can download the original. Like, actually, the level we're playing is available, but the subsequent ones I don't believe are available. So oh, yeah. Turn around. Oh, yeah, shit. Oh, yeah, man, I remember it this. It destroys you, the, the vision of his, uh, his junk. <laughs> it's overwhelming. Oh, God, it's pretty rough, man. It's overwhelming. So which one hey, is I this? Hey, I got some health back. So you're... I'll show you in a sec. I'll just... You're safe. Going back, you're safe. Gives you a little wink. So one thing I'm interested about, right, that we might want to consider, I just want to make sure that we got this. So see, this is so, A2. Okay. But then so what's interesting is one A2. over from A2. I just want to go to the That was end. a burger? Yeah, that was a burger, and it was this guy right here. Yeah, okay. I just want to, like, check out all these levels real quick. So we got A3, yeah. which is the next one, and then we have the one over. one over from that, and then this is this should be the last one, correct? Yeah, yeah. A4, sick. There's a burger at the bottom. Yeah, that's really good news. It is very good news. Okay. 
So I'm gonna go back to the. I just wanted to check and make sure that like okay. I had a bit of a sense of this. I'm gonna go back to before A2. A2. So this would be more big, be methodical yeah. through the okay. thing. So we already did that yeah. one. Um, and I'm gonna check out this one. Toy shop trouble is not for me. Well, that is a mistake. Nothing in here. Bottom left. Let me get rid of that toy shop trouble. Okay, bottom left is nothing. Is absolutely nothing. Okay. So that has been corrected. I don't know how it uh, got on there. So we got another pedophile, man. Yep. This dark Ooh. world of the stacks, man. So we last played this at the 12 hour marathon. So this is a Puzzle critical piece. piece, correct? Yes, we definitely want this. Um, so this it's, bottom right? This is top left, I believe. Top. Okay, I'll wait till you let me out. Let me check, but I'm, make I'm, I'm fairly certain that that's the case. Um, yeah. Top left, okay. Sorry, I was just running away from that fucker. That's a good idea. And then the bottom um, right was nothing. Bottom left. Yeah, okay, we're yeah, got So we need the top right. One criticism I have is I'm confused to what the goal is. Well, we haven't said what the goal is yet. So yeah. we, so we haven't got to that. I mean, that would be in a manual. Um, but one, there's mel multiple goals. Here's some money. Money? Top right? Yeah, okay. top right. I'm just going to put X's where there isn't even an entrance so that we, I don't think we missed it. Yeah, it's a good call. That helps actually a lot, because I'd be like, "Oh, did we miss it?" Did yeah, we it's not just get it? it just makes you. Then feel... I know it's like completely. So it's it's totally it's totally good, you know. Yeah. And so now we got this screen. So this is um. Oh, go back one. So this it's one. Like absolutely nothing this is there. nothing. This is okay. three. Good. And then this guy here. So I'm gonna go like. There's nothing in the top. So this is sort of this is like middle left. Okay. Then, Ooh, puzzle piece immediately. Oh. Yay. Almost mapped the whole lower floor. That's good news. One fifth of the game. Yay! Now we got another pedophile man. He's got a little uh, hat as soon on. As he, it feels as soon as like he puts on his shirt. You can face him, even really? though he's got his pants off still. So that's dollars. What a crazy fucking world we're living in <laughs> in the stacks. It's all about man. his shirt, really, that, that defends you, like his, his bare chest. So that was the. Okay, and that was just money. And this is just money top right. Oh, so you were listed in Toy Shop Trouble. That's where I got it from. But did very little work on it. So Wikipedia... Not enough to claim that you did it. Uh-oh. So, so that... see, this oh, might, might be fun. What was top right? Uh, money. Okay. So we just need the bottom ones. I'm just going to wait to this guy. Huh? Yeah. So you can see the colors coming in on the ladders. Yeah. That's because they're using the missiles. Um to color those in and missiles have to mirror if you don't have enough time to change the color which they don't because it's passing all over the place um, it mirrors the colors of player zero and player one and that's why they have that Ooh, oh burger it's not bad news yeah this is bottom right bottom left bottom left i'll oh, wait till you're out but yeah i'm pretty sure it's bottom left get better that's good <laughs> Bottom left. Uh oh, see, I'm thinking fuck. I think I'm fucked. I think I'm fucked. No! <sighs> Made it, burger. Oh, what was the bottom? Bottom left was. Bottom left was. Oh no. I think it was a burger as well, actually. But I don't remember. Damn it. It's not anything. It wasn't, it wasn't a puzzle piece or anything important. Okay, I'm gonna have to leave it blank. Just do like a. Can everybody remember? <laughs> anyway. Okay. And then another burger. So, like, that's great. Excellent. Uh, yeah, and you don't need it. It was two, two enemies, enemies then, then a burger. burger. Okay, cool. That's wow. good. Thank God. I guess they can rewind oh, the well. Twitch stream, too. <laughs> no, the bottom left one we're referring to, not the bottom right, because that was a burger, too. And it was two enemies and a burger. Yeah, it would have been uh, the I'm going to leave it blank. Too scared. <laughs> I don't want to mess it up. Whoa. Fuck that. 
<laughs> you could climb up past it. I can, but I'm you just... You could go around it. I'm just gonna, like... I can't rewind. The map is somewhere online. Well... That's no fun. We're gonna... That's not much fun. Man. We're gonna do it ourselves. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna run all the way to the left and kind of do it. Okay. So last pl time we played this, July 12th, the 12-hour marathon, and we debuted it September 12th, 2018. Uh, so let's read about the history of the stats. Ooh, history time. It is history time. Pull up the fire, kids. <laughs> Have some milk. Get ready for some history. Oh, here's some money. Oh, on which B1? This is B1, yeah. Bottom. Okay. I kind of went all the way to the left because I just oh, figured it would fine. be almost like a like a scan line. We'll just go through. And nothing and nothing. Money. Good. I'll be more systematic about this. I'm gonna yes. go like a snake. Yeah. Is what I'm gonna do. Bottom left. Okay. Then you let me know what it is. Uh, so the graphics for the cartridge design uh, w is by Kevin MOS3, and looks like the same graphics that were used in the Atari H catalog. So this was actually a listed this game in the Atari H catalog a number of years ago as a release. So that's still pending. Puzzle piece, bottom left. Awesome. Um, the Ready Player One, so this was released in conjunction with the book um, for promotion of it. Ready Player One Easter Egg Hunt was elaborate. This is about the contest in association with this game. So this was a contest. Uh, once readers found the URL hidden in the hardcover or paperback version of Klein's novel, the link took them to a, t a new 2600 game video game, uh, Atari 2600 video game called The Stacks, the thing we're playing. After completing the first gate, the winners would have to play the new Facebook game created by the legendary developer Richard Garriott de Caillou. Um, so there's two games. They had to complete this game, which I believe gave them a... Uh, Code, which was what is, what is QR codes yeah. that you could scan in with so your phone. So bottom right is money. Money? Okay. And the QR code would have given them, uh, taken them to a web page, so that's money on the second one. And there's nothing on the right. Hey, Paper Mario. Oops. Money in the middle. Yeah, money in the middle. Oh, that's and there's, interesting. That's different. And there's nothing on the, on the, it's just an X on okay. the right. It's not you, it's got money is. Hello, Paper Mario. Uh, after completing the first gate, uh, then you'd have to... Nothing? After completing the second gate, which is the Facebook game, the third and final challenge, uh, wait for this, was to set a new world record for Pac-Man, Joust Arcade, Joust Atari 2600, Black Tiger, or Robotron 2084. All of them, or one, one of, of them? them? Okay. That's a new world record? Like, that's crazy that you would have to try and do that. Where, where are we now? So I'm just gonna go, I'm just, wait, wait, I'm just don't this? worry about this. I, I mean, there's money down. here. Okay, so this is like B3. Okay. I'm just going to get a burger because I lost a life. Okay. And I thought this would be a smart time to do it. And also it gives you a chance to read all this stuff. Okay, got the money. <laughs> that's true. You can get by. That's... Time it out nice. Um, so the winner was Craig Queen, and his final prize was a vintage DeLorean. Jeez. You know what DeLorean oh, is? Oh, yeah, man. Yeah. That's... Awarded for setting a new world record for his score in Joust Atari 2600, which was probably the most attainable, because people really, really go after arcade scores. Yeah. So he probably went, uh, I'll go for the Joust Atari 2600, which still, any world record is a crazy feat. To still a world goddamn record. Yeah. Um, in just eight days after the terms for the third gate were established. So he was able to bring his skill level up in eight days to beat the Joust world record. Wow. Which is incredible. It's a me, Paper Mario. The game looks pretty good. Yeah, this is an incredible looking it's game. Good stuff. And very in depth. A lot of different puzzles and enemies and things you have to you have to do in it. 
So the description of the game. The Stacks is a platform game for the Atari 2600 created in 2011 by Mike Mika and Kevin Wilson based on the novel by Ernest Klein, Ready Player One. It is a ripoff of Old Pitfall combined with Donkey Kong or Burger Time. I, so I don't see at? the Donkey it's Kong like or Burger B2? Time at all. I see the Pitfall, but this is Pitfall I just 2 where we're at. So B2 is where we're supposed to be, right? Like, we're at B2. Yeah, we haven't done the top okay, of let me B2. Do that. Names are a bit weird. But I, I got I got my health back. I'm gonna lose it instantly. So we got some money, money on the top right. Thomas actually made the, the numbers better in his version because it's like, what is this? This is kind of to the right of B1, but it's not B1. But then there's B2 label. So the pedophiles were like, that's a legit thing that was like in the book. In the you no, know, in the original game. Like, so this is a this, oh, is, this is this is straight up port of. So this is the original game. Wow, so what? Thomas just added on to the uh, it, other levels. I think it may have cleaned up some some bugs in this. But, like, the design features and everything. Oh, yeah, it's, it's the same game. Some more money. I'm kind of getting an impossible, impossible mission. That's what I would say it's more um, akin to. There's no timer, countdown timer, impossible mission, countdown timer. Yeah, I mean, Tanya for but loves it. She does. So she would, she would dig this. But it's not... You're just collecting the puzzle pieces in this. In Impossible Mission, you have to piece together the puzzle pieces. Yes, bug cleared a uh, bit better graphics, too. Okay, so they were cleaned up. That's what I thought. Um, navigating through vertical maze of trailers, collecting uh, junk computers, snagging food voucher power-ups, oh, okay. and avoiding meth addicts and pedophiles on your way to collect... All pieces of the puzzle. Dude, then Where are the meth addicts? Goddamn 80s were nuts. Are those the meth addicts? What was going on in the 80s? Just <laughs> pedophiles in every goddamn screen, just ready to... So which, uh, this would be... Where are we? Can you go one over to the right? Oh, yeah. Um, I think it's... This should say B3. Yes. Okay. So there's nothing on the bottom right? Uh, oh, you bottom, there? bottom left, sorry. Um, so there's nothing on the bottom left. Just this is the seat. Uh, and then I'll watch it. So money on the bottom right. Man. The future looks pretty nice. It looks not so nice. <laughs> Fuck yeah, man. Oh, uh, you could have gotten down probably faster. I could have. I was but, just trying to figure out. It's caught between two yeah, nightmares, tough. man. Future looks really not nice. Yeah, Future's a lot rough, of rough, man. Being eight, everyone just wants to. Ugh. So Mike uh, Mika talks about his game in the Atari Age forums. Um, when Thomas Yench uh, posted, I suppose the game had to meet a tough deadline, and for that, it's done pretty well. And uh, Mike responded, "Ha! Uh oh no, somebody posted about it." <laughs> Yeah, we're trying to make it and ship it, ship games at our day job, so there's very little time. We're wary of anybody bringing it up on Atari Age. Middle left. Middle left. I didn't, yeah. Go. Yeah. Oh, middle left. Nothing. Nothing. Okay. Okay, I've been in middle right. Okay. I've never been so happy to see pedophiles because it's just easier than jumping over electricity, which is a sentence. Take that out of context. Which is a sentence that I really shouldn't say too much. No, not too much. Just a little bit. Just, just once. A, just once. In context. And then we're good. So top left is what we're gonna check out. Okay. Next. That's why my version has more advanced storage devices. Oh. Does the 2600 have feature that feature built in? What are those blue things? I think they're the target. Meth I didn't know that meth turns you into an octopus slash jellyfish creature that bobs its head up and down just fucking ravenously just trying to devour eight-year-old children. That's what happens. Don't do drugs, kids. <laughs> That's, that should be the real PSA. Yeah. Let's <laughs> talk left. Correct. Uh, yeah. Oh, it's nothing. Oh, bottom left, there is literally nothing there. Yeah. And there's literally nothing on here. Atari's back. So meta. Atari's here while we're playing Atari. 
uh, in the commercial for Atari, um, in the late 80s, I think their slogan was, the fun is back. <laughs> yes! Atari's back! The fun is back! Yay! Fun kittens! Okay, so you're to the right? Yeah. Of, of the, so this is... Uh, is so there this anything is, on... No, there's not three. Um, just nothing. Just empty. Little. Okay. There was... That down. Blue things look like UFOs that are attached to gray sticks moving up and down while making UFO sounds. Yep. So they true. They do look like little little UFO dudes. Lonely things. future, man. No wonder everyone's fucking jacked into the <laughs> oasis. Screw this world. Yeah. <laughs> Dangerous. Uh, we view the current version as the contest version. We worked by priority until hours before launch. Um... So, bottom left is money. Okay. Thank you. Money. The fun is back. This, the fun's sleeping. <laughs> the fun is sleeping. The fun's having a nap. Uh, randomized distribution of puzzle, puzzle pieces, burgers, and floppies. Uh, nature nailed the feature set that remained. Oh, shit. Oh, we planned almost. So close. Oh, what? Oh, you came back out again. And you're dead. That was a burger, though. Burger time. Lost all my points. Oh, you can continue mapping. Oh, that's a good point. You just run oh. over all the way. Well, we've just been calling them money because they're just points, and trying to find like a, a, a symbol for floppy disk is <laughs> not like, what do we do? So and there's multiple things that give you points, so it's just like, they're all kind of the same. Yeah, so our call was like, we'll just call it money, and it'll... So, actually, there's a couple that... I Who calls them money? We do. <laughs> there's a couple I didn't get. Um, so, if you go to to the right of A3... Oh, yeah, A3, sure. Yeah, it's just our crazy cartography choices that we're making. Yeah, it's not. It's not. It's not relevant to the actual game. It's just relevant to the mapping. Well, so what is? So it? bottom left I, I, past A three. So that one. In the bottom cool, let's find out. Because I didn't get an actual completionist mode engaged. Oh yeah, it might be a burger. Very useful. Might be nothing. Might be a puzzle piece. Look at this guy. Look All at right. this friggin'. Little smile, little wink. That's the creepiest part. <laughs> it's the smile is the wink. wink, man. It is. When you think of pedophiles, you don't think of someone winking at you. You know. Oh, it's a burger. That's it's very not. important. That's what somebody said. Yeah. I didn't believe them, but. Okay, so we mapped all of the bottom. So we just need the to the right of B three. Ah, sick. So many. Um, so they were going to randomize what was contained in the uh, stages, but they did not. Um, we planned on doing this, but could not get to it. Weighing the bug testing versus the time made us drop it. In reality, we were tagging rooms as puzzle potential, and it would pick up from 20 of them. The idea was to be a little like Impossible Mission. There we go. Uh, randomize the enemy movements. Currently, they all follow a single pattern each. More patterns would sure help. I don't know how to deal with this shit. I would go down on... Oh, he didn't go all the way over? Yay! Okay, oh, so that's, that's really... That's the way you do it. So now, what's the one I gotta do? Top right or something like that? Uh, yeah. Is it top right or top uh, left? Sorry. Uh, the whole top. The whole top. Oh, and that one. This right one here? here? Yeah. Sick. Let's do it. I feel like I'm decent at this game. I guess it just takes practice. This is the left of yeah, B4. Left middle of B4. Yeah. Money or floppy disk? <laughs> Who calls it money? It's so funny. Points. 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 But P's already taken up with puzzle pieces, so. Yeah, so we were like, just dollar signs. Yeah. What if the floppy disk had the key to some virtual currency? Good idea. Yeah. Hey. There you go. It has some Bitcoin uh, numbers on it. Since this game is playing in the future, it'd be possible that everyone uses uh, virtual currency and save some on floppy disk. Yeah. I mean, yes. they're very. S yeah. I love that our just insanity is producing you mythology. Broke through. You got it. There's always a way. Uh, we originally had three stages small, medium, large. You could play front to back, select stage one, two, or three. The only way to get to the secret would be. 
Too. Money oh, is top, top left. left. Okay. You know what's weird is the floppy disk appears to have a crucifix on it as well. <laughs> well, it's hard to make a circle with yeah. uh, nine little dots. Ah, that makes sense. Yeah, that's pretty good for a proximate circle. Um, because it kind of is a hole and then a, then a different color, like a see-through oh. hole, then a different color than the floppy. Some of these ones are rough because it's just like you just pop out of nowhere. And... So we need the top right on that yeah. one. And then I'll, after I do this, I'm going to go get my burger because I think... Yeah, you're down one. Now, isn't there multiple, like, once we complete one, isn't there, like, multiple ones? Stages? Yeah, I think I recall yes. that. How many stages are there? There's probably like uh, three. Infinite. Really? <laughs> I don't know about this game, but there's infinite Thomas's game. Thomas. Uh, okay. Currently, you can only jump over things. Might add flying objects. You have to duck. So all these ideas that they wanted to add in, uh, Thomas has what added in or ass. plans oh, to man. add in. So we got money on the top right. I have ducking sprites and plan to include it like a dragon flyer. Oh, dragon fire. Uh, where was I? Dragon fire like enemies plan. We just didn't get to it. More and different enemies. Discover them stage by stage. Sometimes mix them in. I have a large variety of enemies. Oh no, these are Thomas's enemies. Uh, based on what Mike said. I should have just done that. I'm gonna get some. I'm gonna get some. Need to know where burgers are? Yeah, I have an idea. I think I remember where where they are. Um, yeah, I you can. You can jump. Oh god, no. It's just it's just a hell There's... of a risk. Oh, yeah. It's just one right underneath this one, I believe. Yep, there is. And if then... you haven't got it already. And there's like two in the bottom ones. So it's like burger, burger, burger. I'll see about that. Burger, I'll, grab burger. A, I'll grab a burger. and Less extra lives. <laughs> That's what they planned on doing. That's because so of the cool. challenge more casual player we're encountering, we overuse the burgers. Um, originally I planned on a score being a timer for the contest. The game was really hard. No, these aren't Thomas's notes. So we made the score that so serves no real purpose. Um, they wanted to add a timer to make people hurry. Add some more sound. Like my day job, audio got neglected and it was almost too late. I was literally looking at a text file no. on my phone. Oh. oh, you're getting burgers? Yeah, I'm just saving. Uh, other notes. Fix all the timing issues. There are a lot. Uh, add black holes a la pitfall where the ladders are. Oh, there's, black. there's black. So there weren't those black holes before. And the end goal uh. is to get a knife so that then you can castrate all the pedophiles on your way back. Uh. You just fucking go back. It's like they try to pull down pants. It's shing. So what is the end goal? It becomes like a friggin' Eli Roth movie in the third act. <laughs> the end goal for this iteration of the game... It's puzzle pieces, right? ...is to put all the puzzle pieces together and get a QR code that leads you to the Facebook page game. So you're going up to B? Bring them to the computer, yeah. So we have to... Essentially, our job is to figure out... I'm going up to C now. Um, there's one I didn't get on B. Oh, let's and check it's just it over out. top. Go up. It's that top left. May have gone in it, but I didn't get it. We're That's okay. Down. Showing the puzzle collected so far would help. Um, did, did it Thomas does already do that in his version because we're playing the original port. No, it shows when you collect the next puzzle piece. Ah, uh, what it, it is, but it doesn't have it. like a display. Or anything. So you'll know when it's done. I think. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it could show it up there at all times. Because there's room for it. Oh, yeah, I guess we got to recollect all these puzzle pieces once we're done mapping. This is uh, we do. But we can do quick. That's okay. gonna be easy. We can do it quick. Because we can just head straight forward. I'll let you do that, man, when we get sure. there. Once this is all done, that'll be fun. Sure. This is like... I'm, I'm, I'm so down for grinding stuff. <laughs> it's like my jam. Fix the display timing. The ladders are driving me crazy. I have a different plan for that fell through. More to do with the play field than using missiles. Um, yeah, I can see why I didn't use the play field. Because there's houses. Like, you can't put the... Ladder. How many is there? Oh, you can make them see through. Oh, I don't know. So this is uh, C. C bottom left. And there was nothing on that last screen. Yeah, nothing there. C bottom left. Okay. So you could just skip the disc and collect the pieces to get the QR code. Correct. Yes. But if you're pushing for points, then um, you, you need to get the discs. So that was just points. Yeah. 
and you get a new, an extra guy every thousand points. I don't know about this game, but I think in Thomas's you do. And there's nothing on that. You can oh. just... yeah. Tell me. I have an anime idea for the game. Oh, tell us. Oh. I think anything to replace pedophiles. <laughs> I wonder what was like their pitch meeting where they're just like, what are the enemies gonna be for this game? <laughs> Fucking Jim just raises his hand. He's like, you know what we've never seen before in a game? <laughs> Pedophile. And so they're like, I'm like, oh, so right? you, yeah, this is middle ride. They're like, oh, so you just like, you kill them? No, you hide from them as they flash their genitals eyes. at you. <laughs> you okay, turn... Jim. Yeah. Uh, are there any other ideas? <laughs> I, like, I think Jim's got a fucking great idea. We're going with Jim's idea. <laughs> it's like Jim is the fucking CEO's kid. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like... We gotta give him something. We gotta, it's, it's the only idea he came up with. Jim is just like... And he's really married to it. He took his dad out for steaks. He's like, <laughs> pedophiles is the way to go. I don't know what is up with Jim, man. Something happened to him, but... <laughs> Uh, he said, add some musical stabs, require a certain score to unlock the master secret, or go back to a timer. Uh, the title screen was supposed to descend to the player on the ground. You'd start outside the stacks, maybe return to that. That's <laughs> Dude, a great the idea. The better guy could be the security robot. Man, this is the thing, is almost anything <laughs> is better. <laughs> yeah. Oh, what was that? I didn't record it. I didn't say it. Oh, shit, that was money. Okay. Wait, fuck, no, that was a puzzle piece, I believe. <laughs> Fuck. No, we just got a puzzle piece on that. Did we? Okay, that's right. just money then. Oh, God. oh now you're this making is, me doubt. This is the problem. You gotta announce it. I do have to announce it. it. It's just so hard because we do so many of them that at a certain point I start to get into autopilot, which I can't do. Yeah. Get in your fucking head. Especially when it's like just a disc. You're like, oh, it's just a disc. Yeah, I, I guarantee you it was. Okay, it's just a disc. It's not. Well, you might want to do like question mark there so that if we die again, we can go back or. Ah, don't worry about it. Uh, optimize the code. It's sloppy and hacked. It barely looked at six, at the 6502 instruction set. I just tried to code it by memory. Burger. Not smart. Good. Hey, I kind of need a burger. That's, that's really do. good news. Up to three again. The points do not play a role in game one. They're just there. Okay, so it's just in Thomas's... Uh, I mean, I yeah. guess I guess it's for like gloating to your friends about how awesome you are. It's true. Oh. I think it's also like... Gain a life. It's my fucking existence right there. <laughs> I'm gonna just pop down. So that you... uh, we couldn't talk about it, obviously, because it was related to a contest, so I couldn't actually engage folks here, which would have been an ideal way to make the game. Which is true. Um, there's nothing on here. Nothing. Yeah, putting your game out for beta testing in Atari Age is one of the best ways to get your game the best it can be. Because of all the... You go straight at it. Uh, and you just dissolve into a pile eyes, of man. goo. You're like, I'm out of here. I think that's part of the tr tr challenge with some of these is the fatigue element where you've just done it so many times that you just start to go like... Dollars? Yeah. Bottom right, right? Yeah, bottom left. Bottom left, sorry. Um, I'm kind of trying to do the same order. Um, start with the bottom, just just so that because I left, right, bottom, middle, top. Exactly. Okay. This has got nothing. Uh, and he said, also we were using an iPhone and the cuddle cart to check it out on hardware on a TV that made everything seem sort of fine. Only later, after the first carts came out, did we notice more issues. So this is top right, middle right. Um, we joked about it, maybe to comfort ourselves. We're basically like Data Age game. Not as good as an Activision or a Magic, but definitely not a Mythicon game. So this is the right, middle right. Yeah, nothing. Um, so somebody asked, um, so you obtained permission from the original programmers to improve the game. And Albert Russo answered yes. In fact, Daryl Spice Jr. and especially Thomas Yance have put in a great deal in time and effort into the game. Fixing some issues and making improvements in others. So this is some money. Middle left. Uh, plus, Rindel the Red has created tons of new graphics for the game as well. Plus, we're at a point now where we need to bring in some additional playtesters to get feedback, hey, so we is can that further us? polish. That's us. <laughs> I just feel so good. All of a 
That's uh, us. The top right is gonna be the next one. Okay. Um. And this is the person who worked on the graphics. Oh. Down to your last life. You, you're probably getting close to. <laughs> Get. So that's all good. I'll keep going. Oh well, no, I am almost finished. And then once we're mapped out this, then we can read out the Tom Thomas's instructions ah, for his game. And when we finish this level, um, it would be cool if you just mentioned that much of the new stuff. Ooh. I think we might be getting very close to, to sort of being one, two, I, it, I, three, four it puzzle pieces. It appears so far. to be six. Seems to be like how many in total, right. based off of just my kind of. Because see, there's like one on the right, middle. Right. I, I'm guessing there's six. Six is a a thing. In yeah. The 2600. That it's easy to draw six strips. Um, because you can triplicate player zero and player one, and have enough time to change the graphics in between. So six is like a thing. Okay. Cool. That makes sense. Yeah. Um, in the expanded game is my work. There's a streetwalker, an assassin, a crow, and new power-ups. Man, I'm it's so fucking into this assassin thing. and this oh. crow. So we are going over to... There's some money in the bottom middle. Okay. And then nothing. Okay. That's a C3. And there's some money in the middle of this one. Okay. This is a dangerous one. These, like, extra... It's crazy looking. Uh, so bottom left. Bottom left. The, I'm just gonna okay. keep doing this order. I'm gonna snake up like a ladder, you know. I'll go like left to right, right to left, left to right, just to be systematic. We got okay. some more money on the bottom left. Yeah, maybe you memorize it. It's like I don't know where you are because I'm reading stuff. Out. Cool. Um, if you want to mention my bit of 2600 art background, I created one of the first, if not the first, 2600 hack to be posted on Atari Age, Return of Mario Brothers, as well as two others, Donkey Claws and Spice Invaders. Later, I did graphic hacks for Atar Activision's PS2 GBA oh. title, Activision Anthology. So this is Burger on the bottom. Yeah, and this... Awesome. That's good. Uh, Thomas also worked on that, doing PAL NTSC conversions, I believe. Uh, Thomas said on November uh, 2015, we're working on it. It's maybe 95% done, but still needs some polishing. To that end, we're looking for people... Uh, play it on real hardware. We're not Sorry. doing that right now, but we're looking for bugs and play them. At least. We did play it on real hardware last time. I don't think we found it. We did play it super far, but we played it probably not to find any terrible bugs. Oh, so okay. middle right is uh, money. Okay. It'd be nice to see a Mission Impossible port to the 2600. Impossible uh, or mission? Impossible mission, yeah. I don't see why it couldn't be done pretty well. Dude, you'd fucking it, just rock Kenya's world. Man. You would. Just, that would. You could do some of it. You could do the robots fine. You could do the levels. You could do the jumping. You could do the computers that turned off the reset the levels. You could do the platforms that move up and down. That could, that, all that could be play field. Um, you could make the things you have to search play field or you can make them um, missiles or balls top left is money if you didn't want to do any flicker um, well you could stylize it a bit do some, some separated things um, Whoa! Jeez, it's up there. there. And you're dead. Wrecked. That's okay. I'll let you finish off C. We're getting close. And I'll get to D. Um, in terms of putting the puzzle pieces together, you should be able to do that. You probably have to use Flicker. Because um, they're different colors. I'd have, to, I'd have to consult Tanya. Fidelity, man. Fidelity. Oh, you don't need that. You don't yeah, need it. Point. You don't need it. What is this one? I'm just so hungry. I'm just, <laughs> I got the 
tier A4. Oh, you can go over. We're way up. Oh, way yeah. up, way up. Yeah. To, to, uh, to C. Fidelity would be lost, but that's usually the case for 2600. Yeah, there'd be a lot of fidelity loss. That's for sure. You'd have to make some compromises on a lot of this stuff. But not the character, really. Not the enemies. Robots are fairly straightforward. They're not big or anything. Uh, is there a clue for hidden doors? Okay, so that's the one I was trying right now. There are hidden doors everywhere. So D is oh. where we're... Oh! No, we're C. We're still working on C, right? Yeah, still working on C. We want uh, to the left of C4. I was I, I, at one right point I was C3. able to jump off. Yeah, okay. just but when you're kind of low on the left. Okay, so this so is what you want. Uh, top uh, right is the only one we're missing. Off. So there's hidden doors. Whoa! Oh no! I'm stoked. There's hidden doors. Hidden doors? It makes sense, man. This whole game is like you know, freaking one big Easter egg. Well, they'd be hidden doors on the... So it's a disc now. Okay. Money top right. So... Now you just need to... Need to. Play till you're dead and take over. Or you win. Uh -oh. Then we'll go back to the puzzle piece. Right. Gotta be ready. Gotta be ready for it. Get that burger. Oh, that's gonna speed me up. So, so wait. This is... Four down. Oh. Oh. There is no D. Okay, calm down. Wait, wait, go back, go back, go back. This is nothing. Go back. No, that's that's like a, a room. Uh so that's nothing. Nothing. And uh, good. So that is the go inside there? I think that's this is a computer. computer. Computer terminal. Okay. Yeah, that's good to know. We don't have enough. Just realize there's an open air top. Yes, there is a there is a top to this one. Puzzle piece. And this is the bottom right. The bottom right, right. That's correct. So we need another puzzle piece, and we're good, right? I think so. One, this is two, five. three, four, five, six. Oh, so we got them all. Got them all. Good. Still not. Because it could be burgers we need. <laughs> uh, Atari sound effects. They are good sometimes. These are the hardest ones when you come out and they're just fucking on you. Yeah. In some cases, I don't even know what to do. Like, in that circumstance, I couldn't even really do anything. They reset every time you go on the screen, so it's probably good to kind of know where they are in relation to you. So you can go, oh, that's where they're going to be when I come out. But be ready to do whatever. Go down the ladder or run off the screen. Like, on this screen in the left, middle, and bottom Burger. right, both should let you enter. Really? This is bottom left? Uh, let's check. I, okay. I'm fairly certain I'm pretty that's certain. the case, but let's, I don't know. Sounds a stray. The repetitive element is... <laughs> the same obstacles? Yeah. Oh, top, top left. left. Okay. So, so he's... That, that person claims that there's a door there. Like, they're all hidden. Like, every single... Well, maybe you want to test it on one of those. You could do it. Yeah, it's safer to go there. Wait, wait. No. It's not there. It's not there. Well, the problem is now I'm totally fucked. Yeah. No. There you go. Rip! Y yes, you are. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'm passing it over. So, I have to go up to just straight up to D1. Yeah, and then you can just sort of slow it uh, Which version did you find the hidden doors? Mine or the original? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we got yeah. this. Oh, yeah, we got that. Help us out with some hidden doors. Yeah. 
Those doors are good. Well, we found all the puzzle pieces, so at least one of those is not behind a hidden door. Yeah, that would be next level trolley. It would be. That's terrible, so you have to check every door. Okay, so there is a dollar in the middle of D1. See how I'm doing in the middles? Yeah. So bottom, middle, D1. And then nothing on the top. So you just put an X in between. And then nothing above that as well. Cool. A dollar sign in the middle, uh, to the right of the top of the middle. Yeah. Excellent. Okay, so let's check this out. Nothing in the top left. Right. We got these guys, man. Damn. Shirt. <laughs> you can Just turn around when it shirt's on. It's so ridiculous. And there's nothing in the top right. That is ridiculous. So they they made a bit of a timing error on that. So there's something you can fix, Thomas, if you want. <laughs> that you can turn around when he's got his shirt on. Yeah, it's <laughs> just not. <laughs> but he still has that black bar. If you care. You can kind of jump down when you get to a certain point. And I would change when that guy does that. Like, he could randomly do it any time. Because right now, he does it at very periodic times. This is dollars. Got some money. So he always does it at the exact same time. He comes back right there. So you know when to do it. They said he tried to, he tried to, to, to cure that. Oh, he tried to cure that. Cure the pedophile? It's hard to do. It's a, it's a, it's a whole operation. Should I try man. for that door? See if it's there? Uh, sure. I mean, I don't think, I don't think, I don't think anything's going to happen. Luckily, this is a much lower stakes one to be doing this on. With the fast ones, the challenge oh, is, is yeah. that you're, I don't, there's some that I'm are like almost that. borderline. So the dollar sign in the middle of D2, and then nothing, and nothing about that. So bottom left, dollar sign. Those are well. Dollar sign, bottom right. Little points. Is this a 16K? Yes, it is. I like well, our guy, though. Well, it I is love, 16K. I love his design not, a this, lot. This is Thompson. Yeah, he's really good. Nice colors on him. Nice blue hat. Two-tone two blue hat. Ah! Nothing on... Uh, I think we already got that one. Just nothing there. Nothing, nothing. On three... Yeah. We just got... We got a dollar sign? Yeah. Uh, so actually, this is a safe one. I can try this one. Nothing. I think it must be on Thomas's. Or he was dreaming it. Top left. And he does it right there. Sign. So is that everything? That's it. Okay. So let's uh, tell me where the, the, the burgers are. Or not the burgers, the puzzle pieces. Um, on this level. Let's, let's, oh yeah, so the, so on this level, you're going to go to basically D4, technically. D3 and I half. mean, D3 and a half, so, something like that. So yeah, and then it's on the bottom right. It's a hard one. This is a hard one to get to. Because you see this guy so fast. You've got to be really careful when you come out of this one. Right. This is not, not necessarily the easiest one. Begins. Begins. 
the first piece. Yeah, and it's actually the first piece, which is cool. <laughs> it doesn't always work out that way. No. So the next one is going to be C between C1 and 2. Um, well, actually, you could do between C2 and 3 if you want. That's probably closer. That's like a faster. Yeah, C I with... don't think you can escape that guy. I think you're just dead. Like, I don't know how to... And this is hard. I would go to the other screen, personally. Like, I wouldn't... Because you can't outrun him. Yeah. So this is C. Oops. I'm staying here, right? Supposedly. Yeah, this guy won't. Yeah. So let's get that burger. <laughs> yeah, no, no idea. Between C2 and 3? Um, yeah. Or C3? It's, it's between C2 and 3 is, is, is the closest. closest one, yeah. I might go down in the middle because there's yeah, never. Usually the middle is the safest. I haven't noticed reason. any. And a burger along the way would be good. Yeah. Okay, so it's gonna be top right. Okay. All two. And I'll let you. And the and there's another burger in the in the next one. Pieces. Yay! Yeah. Okay. Oops, that's a okay. Terrible. So still on C. Yeah, so this is perfect, so So you wanna so the so the the middle right between C one and two Okay. It's gonna be um, the puzzle piece. Nice. And then the top right is a burger. Nice. Yeah, no fries, man. What fucking kind of <laughs> fast yeah. food is this? Just burgers. Three. Not only are there mutant goddamn aliens and pedophiles, there's no fries in the future. <laughs> it's a sad, sad <laughs> future, <laughs> really. Part of this. Top right. Top right is a burger. Yeah. This is future I No part of. I'm out. Half my diet is is uh, potatoes. What is happening? It's the repetitive nature of it, man. Yeah. When you do it like 90 times, you stop thinking about it, and then it's like, and then you're and in that's trouble. It. I need burgers. Oh, bye, Pepper Mario. You must go. Thanks for hanging out. I must stay. <laughs> it's a me, and I must go. It's a little racist, and I think about it. It is. It's not good. <laughs> As I was saying it out loud, I was like, like oh, oh no. Yeah. Oh no. This has been brought up in five years, played over and over. Oh no. On all the media. I don't mind. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm already a Satan. <laughs> okay, just by... so I need burgers. So. Um, I would say that, like, uh, I mean, the easiest burgers are if you go all the way to the to four you're gonna have one, two burgers. Nice. So I might just recommend that. And if you stay in the middle track, you'll be fine, and yeah. then you'll be totally back. And then we'll just, we can, and also there's like two burgers down here. So, yeah. I got you. We'll hang around that area, because there's a puzzle piece as well. Right? Yeah. And yeah, so we can just keep. You're keeping track of which ones. Yeah. We've cleared out. We have DMC. three already, so yeah, it'll be easy. Actually, this isn't a bad operation because you'll be able to pretty easily go back. Oh, good. Okay. This is honestly like probably a, a fairly good direct pattern. path. Yeah, it's not a bad thing. Jury. Oh, so you might have already gotten it. That's okay. Oh. So this bottom one you need to get, and then you'll just need to go. Um, the easiest one will be the bottom right because you don't have to go through any puzzles or anything. Oh, good. I might recommend um, not going straight, but going up to the top, just and then going down, just because. So I can see. Yeah. Just because sometimes those guys spawn real close. I don't remember, like. Yeah. You yeah, just, that one's deadly. So you kind of this is what's hard. So like, yeah, you wanna, and then once you get out of this screen, you wanna just like run straight to the right. Yeah. yeah. So you get your burger, and you just wanna go straight to the right. Don't even try and do anything. Ah! There you go. <laughs> and okay, so now um, life, so. middle left is a puzzle piece. Okay. It's wild that that's like the IP that's, that's the most consistent 
is Mario, you know? Oh, yeah. Super keep... well known. And then, um, so it's going to be like the mi the next kind of screen you can do something on is going to be top right. Hot top left, sorry. Top left, okay. Let's check out what's going on. Okay. We'll That's what's climb up there. there. That's a good question, man. What mm. kind of preservatives are going on? It's like been perfectly cooked somehow. Just sitting in a room, an empty Very room. Very suspicious. Floating, in fact. Floating burgers. We have floating burgers in the future. And they're being guarded by pedophiles. Like, I don't know if I would fucking oh, dive like into this. Oasis. Oh, yes. Oh, the Oasis. I like that name a lot for, like, a VR thing. It's good ah! writing. Okay. Um, so then the next one is going to be B, between B1 and 2. Um, oh, okay. So I... And then, dude, look at this munchkin right here. He's on you. He just knows that the most important thing is uh, this paper that we going on <laughs> That's here. Right. Look at Look at this. It's all... He's just literally on... Cats love sitting on paper. So which one... Is it? Uh, bottom left. Okay. Yeah, I know it's hard. It's some great bed, isn't it, buddy? Paper makes a great bed. Oh, no. It's hard. <laughs> We're going to need it soon. That's not okay. yet, but we soon. Do. I, remember, I think I remember where the computer terminal is. It's in oh, the... Yeah. It's oh. the so we're, we're probably good now, actually. This isn't the last piece. I believe it's the last piece. I think it's second to last piece. <gasps> You're right. Oasis. Oh, Oasis. And Atari left in the credit time. Hey, buddy. Yeah, there's your spot. Yeah, that's the proper cat spot. That's your spot. You're not on top of the paper that we need. <laughs> I know it's comfortable. But that's comfortable too. Let's get out of here. Ah! Okay. I'm gonna Let's recommend take this. Take the safe route. Yeah. Up here. So, like. So, this should reveal the QR code. Yes, it should. And now the thing I would also really love to know is you said that like those walls, like those those walls play up in his in his oh I not in I thought you said in in game one. Do they indicate like where the puzzle pieces might be? Maybe. That's a very general kind of thing. No, they definitely don't. <laughs> Uh, I believe the top one is always good. Now you gotta be real careful true. because there's some pink ones ah. that are pretty intense, man. Okay, let's just get safe. Let's get up. Let's go to the top. The yeah. middle. Even though that shouldn't be safe. Like, in game one, yes, he said it's, they play a part in game one. Can you kind of? Well, let's let's fix. <laughs> let's, let's do this let's computer do the, yeah, business let's do the first. Computer first. Um, and then we'll figure out the next yes. next piece because we haven't needed it yet. Maybe it's it's like that's the exit to the next area. Okay. Bam. Oh, the moment we've all been waiting for. Clever. Clever Gun Gunter? Gunter. Gunter? <laughs> I, I was going to say uh, something else, <laughs> yeah. but I'm not going to say, say it, man. Let's say that's a G, because that's definitely a C, and they're different. Yes. Clever Gunter, you have defeated the, my game. Dude is, dude, is Gunter the homie that we've been running with? I guess so. Short for Egg Hunter. Oh, okay. Gunter, yes. Oh, man. Thank you, RC70. I never would have connected those dots. But that's still not done because you don't have, you don't have like, the QR code. Okay, so... So we have to go... Oh, so that one turned gray. You see what I mean? Maybe maybe, maybe it's always gray. Let's find out. Cause what if now that we've completed it, it like Oh I just warped through it. That might have been a, a glitch. Let's find out. I think it's a glitch. Let's go let's, let's go, go to the other side. Yeah. Cause I for sure know the other ones were not gray. If they turn gray, maybe there's like some Maybe the maybe a That's a bug. Okay. Oh no. That's too bad. Let us know what's what's the how do they play a part in game one? I'd love to like wow. let's let's walk through them first. Yeah, or see if they're still see flashing. if there's anything that's going on. That's a bug. <laughs> oh no. Nobody likes bugs. So were those flash? No, these ones weren't. There. Whoa! See that's oh eight. See that's different. <sighs> now what do we can we map this? Let's just explore. Let's just see okay. what goes what goes down. How how far can we go? What? So that's level eight. 
Oh my god. Uh, okay. And this is... Another bug. I have to fix that. Level 8 C? So you said this is another bug? So we shouldn't be in here? Or... What is this? Glitch in the matrix, yo. Okay, let's go through some of these. Let's see what's in these rooms. Like, is this going to crash us out? Oh. Should we be here? Or should we go back? Mm. Can you do it? Nothing. Okay. Whoa, dude, Whoa. stand on that fucker. Yes. Okay, so we're pushing for high score today, <laughs> and we just got 39,000. You can go there in the original, yes. So, but should we not be here? Like, is this going to crash it, possibly? I have to crash it, and it crashes it. Gotta live life on the edge. But it should be empty. Oh. Let's check out the, each one of these rooms, man. We got a new area. This is badass. <laughs> we just, like, went outside the, like, you know, the boundaries of Skyrim and we're like <laughs> that's right just going into the new we can see through the mountains now that's right and all of a sudden we can see Cyrodiil is <laughs> it's on the other side you can see inside the nine nine I there's probably just nothing in any of these whoa how far do we go there. just keep this to see how far like what's after nine is it gonna be zero or, or... If it just starts repeating itself oh. one we went back to one maybe we shouldn't be here I shouldn't be here. Oh, man, as soon as someone says I shouldn't be here, I just... C1. I can't... <laughs> I thought I couldn't jump for a second. So... Funny bug. Okay. Yeah. Let's keep going back to the right, and we'll okay. see what happens. Let's, let's go back to normalcy, I think. Let's go in the middle, though. We might not be able to go back once you uh, cross over. That's into true. the gray world. Yeah. So you cross the snow wall of the north. The goddamn gray walkers, man. You don't know what's going on anymore. Yeah. They can attack at any second. Oh, can we go back? Yes! Okay, yeah, okay. There is a way back. Oh. Oh. So we cross it any time? Is this just because we completed the game? I think so. But is that the end? I thought there was a QR code that it gave you. Maybe in the original. Oh, maybe you took it out? Because I don't even know if that, that Facebook page is. What is happening here? <laughs> can I walk on this? Can I go in the doors? Can I, is that a door? No. It's not no. A door. This is the. Oh! Whoa! That I is love the door. <laughs> Might be a QR. No QR code. To... Might be no QR codes. Uh, to the bug or it took it out. Okay. I bet you you took it out. Yeah. It just makes sense because is there actually a Facebook page it anymore? It may be gone now. I, I mean, there's no contest anymore. So, so. so I guess that's the end of the game. Wow. It's not great trailers on great background. It's so good, man. Oh, and that? all of our, like, um... Okay. And then... One. And then all of our friggin', um... Like, rainbow doors disappeared? Yeah, there's no rainbow doors. What's this into the gray world? Oh. But they're all empty. All the people have vacated. They're yeah, this is the real stacks, man. Yeah. This is where you realize that you're just in a simulation the whole time. This this wasn't this wasn't <laughs> even real, that the Oasis was a simulation inside a right. simulation. Just and that we're nesting dolls. in a simulation playing a simulation of a game that's also <laughs> a simulation. And the real simulation is the world we're in. Where we created these strange matrixes of Atari games. Right. Goes That's deep, cool. man. <laughs> <laughs> it's a render glitch on that last screen. Oh, there's lots of render glitches. Uh, Sounds like the title of a hillbilly poem. <laughs> yes. Now can we go? What's happening the, here? We can go to the, the right hand side. Oh, we can. Oh, it just warps back. Oh. Some on the right hand side, it warps stuff back. Stuff is happening in the stacks today. Okay, we're we're done this this game. Okay, so let's uh, move on. Yeah, man, I did, uh, maple syrup. Now you're singing our friggin' one of our maple main syrup. contributions to the world. Yes, please. Crazy so, goddamn. This is where we can select. I'm thinking, and, and we should maybe make sure it's something. Maybe A B C D. Sure, that's, that's a nice that one. That fun. Because 111 just seems like eh. what an asshole puts in an arcade, you know? <laughs> that's right. Dig, dig, dig. Or A, B, A, 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 A. A, you know? I did try this a couple times, and some of them don't work. Like, they just come up with nothing. 
Like zero, zero, zero doesn't work. Let's see. Yes, A, B, C, D works. Yeah. Your maple syrup. We're, we were so fucking cold, we just blasted things into the side of trees and started drinking it. That was so, what Canadians did. You want to put level two map, map A, B, C, D. Excellent. Oh, I'm feeling good about this. Uh, <laughs> now, so no see, one... B1, it's actually B1. Oh, so he's fixed it so it's not weird or anything. Okay, and if you go to the left, is it... Okay, and then what, happens if, what happens if you go even farther? Is it just, you is go it just... into nothingness forever. Like, it just says go back. That's cool. Now, there is a hint that he said, is there nothing? Oh. So there might be something do, do, somewhere. Do, do, do. But uh, we'll deal with the real stuff first. Yeah. So now you can see those things are out. They, they, they're loose. They're on the loose now. Mm -hmm. And they have different patterns. Some continuous, some go back Okay, so forward. this is already more interesting. Oh, way more. <laughs> this is, way more interesting. This is already just visually so much cooler. So, uh, A1 is just just X's over. I'm just in the middle. I'm just middle X's. Yeah. Okay. They're cool. Now, I don't want to travel that way. <laughs> no, I don't recommend that. So we're going to go safe where there's nothing attacking us on B1 on the left. This is just points. So should I do money again? Yep, yep, yep. Bottom left, money. You can see he's changed the walls in the background too. There's lots of pillars. Man, this is a, yeah, this is already a much better game. Yeah. Uh, puzzle, puzzle piece, piece already. already, nice. That's called rewarding the player early on. Yes, it looks like he's using the same graphics. That's like when you like, in an RPG, you punch a rat. Oh, I just made it to level two. Yes. <laughs> then, <laughs> then you're excited and then level three is like way <laughs> off like in the it. distance. Exactly. I'll just do X's on the middle. Yeah, X is middle. Oh, nothing. What? Rats. Yes! Yes! Cute little rats. Oh, I'm so into it. When it tells you to go. That tells you the, where the exit, which direction the exit is. Doesn't mean... You can see the walls are different depending on... So he's added a little Much bit Much deeper game it appears yeah. to be. And there's more than two I believe this is top screens. right, correct? We'll check top right. Get back. Some of them are passageways to other Ooh. parts of the game. And this is nothing. nothing. See, so reward you and then punish you. It's exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and it makes it longer, a longer trek. And I feel like this rat might be actually almost more difficult in the opposite direction. Uh, I think it runs towards you again, no matter which. That's cool. Depending on like the direction that. you came. Oh no. That feels easier. That's good. Very cute. It looks almost Very squirrel like. Okay. Ah! This is top left. Ah, and there's like different directions. Oh, the passages are not implemented yet. Okay, okay, okay. The key element missing. Ah, thanks for letting us know. That's, yes. that's good. Um, it's neat that we go left or right. Yes. Um, because so it's uh, a nice variation. Well, it just feels yeah different because in the other one it was always the same. Because I'd say yeah, that last one was like within maybe forty percent completing the game. I was like, I think I get the gist of this. It's a short game. Yeah. Um, and there's tons of burgers to complete it. I guess they just didn't want to make it too hard. Yeah, you know. It's fine. It's a small little... Well, you gotta fucking master joust or whatever the other ones are. <laughs> yeah, that's the hard Like, part. that's the thing that you gotta do. That's the real challenge. It's not completing the stacks. Yeah. Ah! Uh. No! Whoa. Oh, God. This is a nightmare that you're... Check the left just to, just for my own sign. I'm just curious oh, what's going yes. on here. Nothing. Nothing. X is all the way up. Yeah, it's easy to clear that off. So B2, bottom left. Ooh. I like these pillars, man. That's yeah, they're great. What's here? Now you gotta be cautious. You don't know what's coming Yeah, yeah it's it's is a much... What's this? Points. Oh, oh wait. There's maybe more. Okay, just points. So this is bottom left. So even right? the uh, bottom left. So even you're you're not even to the end yet, and you have the thing. So that's a nice variation as well. So let's keep going. And, and this is just A B C D. Yeah. Uh. Yes. Yeah. It's more compact. So 
that's points. Well, you know, like we, we these could be different but on variation. Like different levels, right? Which is really cool. Yes. Um, so middle left is nothing. Unless that person actually is telling the truth that sometimes the trailers have something, but that was a punch card. Oh! Storage meter. They don't does it have things? Does it does it is there a difference? Because if there is we gotta add another. We gotta add some symbols. Cause it does it just give you points, or are there other functions for the punch card? I mean, it did give me points, but. But that could be other functions. Thomas. Okay, this one is is it's just points. Just points. Bottom. Just middle, points. Middle right. Okay, it's just points. Oh, he's just saying what it was. Ah, cool. Okay, yeah. Punch card. God. Uh... Oh, and it doesn't start you at the other end, too. No, so you it's not pitfall. Like... I'm gonna run. Ah, run. Oh, nice screen. Whoa. <laughs> Death. Well, it keeps your... Uh... Keeps us going. That's good. Okay. We'll return so we can finish off that. Um... So it was... Yeah, we gotta do the top. Um, this is like... You need to get to your this two. is you're on B B one yeah so like you got to do so there's points in the middle top yeah and so I would do we just gotta check out and see the yeah the very top what that so you can is. Already... um and you can see that ladders are offset Ooh, that's cool yeah ah gets us some money in this one. punch card <laughs> some punch cards man. And we did go in this one? I don't know, no, we didn't. we didn't. Burger, yay! We have a backup. It's essential for this whole operation. Do we just keep going up? Yeah, we're already on that path. It seems like the other direction is tough. Yeah, this is safe. Uh, so nothing, nothing. And we're at the top already? Well, it appears to be. Oh. See, see about, try to go up to the, try to go higher and see what happens. I guess I mapped that wrong. Done. Oh, so there's less. It's it's a, it's a smaller map, but there's more going on with it. Oh, we found the key. Okay, so this is bottom left. left. What and the key is K. Okay. Good. Just points. <laughs> it did give points, but I'm sure it's significant. This is the bottom right. This is the smallest map, yeah. Because once we complete this one, we get more, right? Yeah. So get a money, map. and we'll see if there's anything else. Oh, makes a this, return. This guy again. Oh, he is random. Oh, God. I gotta not do that now. These are actually really hard. This is the hardest obstacle. Be, yeah. Your toes it's, must be it's right up to it. For that. Oh, God. Should I even go further? I got the thing. I guess I gotta investigate. I don't know if there's more than one thing. I don't know if you'll even make it back. There is more than one Holy thing. Holy shit. I'm gonna do money and puzzle. Sure. Puzzle supersedes money. Wow. Did I kept on? Yeah, so now we know there's more than one thing possible. It feels like I'm touching those. No, well, he's at the same spot. Oh, I'm scared. Oh, it's a scary man. <laughs> this reminds me of like conferences. Yeah. Like, oh, you got to go to the left to Auditorium C, and that's where the lecture is taking place. These big billboards. Yeah, it's like actually this was Auditorium C B. Yeah, we're we in B. Actually, it's got to be in C. It's actually straight C. Oh, that's actually in a different building. This is <laughs> yeah. the this is the west wing. You got to go to the north wing. But I was just in the north wing. No, you were in the northwest wing. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, I'm a fucking... Okay, I'll just kill myself then. <laughs> yeah, that's how universities are to me. They're just so huge. Top, top right. Top right, yeah. it's just nothing. This universities are so huge, and all the buildings are named, like, totally irrelevant. Pedo has different speed now. See, oh. this is how we're going to get flagged by the friggin' FBI from this Twitch chat. Actually, they are. Yeah, they could, because... Um, on YouTube, it does. You gotta go down this the is ladder. really, yeah, really hard. There's nothing in the top left or top or middle, because YouTube has auto um, 
auto trans uh, transcribing. Yeah. And they look for words and they um, yeah, I grade just, your video. Yeah, I just saw like in the H three H three they had like a uh, Papa John said like a uh, like a like a like they they auto corrected it incorrectly, so it oh, seemed like he yes. said a racial slur when in fact he was just saying something else. But the auto correct, so they flagged the video and they had to go back. And if you listen to him saying it, he didn't say it, <laughs> but it could, but it sounds sort of like it. Right, enough that a computer was like, yeah, this is what's happening with the algorithms, man. It's the just... world we live in, where computers are on us and trying to attack us. So this is bottom, bottom left, left of is nothing. See something. Bottom left of C3. But I gotta get up there. I think I'm gonna take out the one. <laughs> I'm not gonna Yeah, well this requires more strategy, which is really Way nice in terms strategy. of like how to like approach. Oh, more I rats. Thought, I'm, like rats are not cute creatures. Yes, they are. But like, yes, it's pretty are. amazing to see these. Bottom right, rats are super cute. Really? They've got tiny little tiny paws. And did they, you ever have a pet rat? Many. Really? At one time that. in our house, we had twenty-five rats. Not it, not this house or this person. Whoa. Twenty-five. Why did you have twenty-five rats? They get pregnant. Damn. And they have a lot of rats. <laughs> A lot of baby rats. What did you do with your 25 rats? They, well, one of them, went, some of them were the roommates, rats. Um, so about half were ours. So where, where do I want to go to? So if you want to continue to complete this, oh, C3 would be the goal. Okay. Um, but it, it... This looks like a good way up. I'll just... Oh, damn it. You gotta be careful. Because that goes... That's funny, because you're going up the ladder, but you... And, and you keep pressing up, and you go into the room. That's that's intentional. <laughs> that is definitely okay. We're yeah. good. Okay. And again, so the top, yeah, the top. Oh yeah, C is where we're gonna go to. So we'll move this that guy go back and forth. Yeah. Okay. So we're in C now. Yeah. So you want to go to? Uh, you want to check out the top layer of this guy? Okay. Oh God. That's the problem. I went into the room. Accidentally. There we go. Good. Oh, no, I got it. Oh, there's a ladder. I'm going up to nowhere. Okay. It's fine. Whew! Yeah, I think the problem was is like because I spent a lot of time in Scotland yeah. when I was a little kid, and it was just drilled into our brains that like bubonic plague was given by rats. <laughs> oh. So you know, like it, it was just like in our minds that like, and it, and even and it was even in like their kind of like their attitudes as well. Like Scottish hate rats. Oh. Because okay. it was like it's still like ingrained in their mind that like ravaged all of this stuff, you know. True. Which is there's nothing wrong with rats, but it's but I think that's part of my my layover wild of that rats, time yeah. period of, of life. Wild rats are not good. Yeah, these old people with. would go nuts if there's ever a rat anywhere. Like these old like like Scottish <laughs> oh, folks. Really? Yeah man, they would smash them with brooms. They get oh. so upset. Because for them that was like I mean they are past yeah. So it's top right was nothing. Nothing. Down, down, or guess. you can go to the right if I'm you want. I'm gonna go to the right. I whatever, like that thing. whatever you're in. Oh, computer. So this is C. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So should I do it while well, I'm here? Yeah. yeah. Why not puzzle piece? Yeah. Nice. That's great news. So currently we have three puzzle pieces, so we need another. Okay. So we're doing all Getting right. there. Getting there. Yeah, they had um, <laughs> um uh, they had these ah. labyrinths at the bottom of Edinburgh, yep. which was the place where I lived. And in these labyrinths, what they would do is anyone who had the bubonic plague, they would lock them in. So there was these like periods of time, at least in the Middle Ages, where basically people were living underneath the city, and oh. they would be and if you got if you got the plague, and because people didn't know what the fuck to do about it, they would Separate just lock them. you in. They'd be like. To throw you in. It's uh, probably the best thing to do in that situation, really. To try to protect everybody, and like the sanitation was so terrible. I, I just went on so many guided tours, you know, they're like, because it's all about, oh, of course. that was all you do. So, and anytime that, like, uh, yeah, so top left. Top left of D2. 
Because, yeah, any time that, like, uh, uh, someone would come to visit, we'd end up going on the same tour. So I just... Oh. Went, I went on that goddamn bus tour, like, nine times. But, but yeah, that was, that was the attitude towards rats over there. Was right. just, was just... Not liking this rat. Wow. Okay. A, B, C, D. Um, not as rats easy. are incredible pets. They're really, really smart. Whoa. Yeah, if you think about all this testing that do, we often test rats because their brains are similar to us. and They're really gentle. Algernon, really clean. man. Stop. Stop it. Uh, actually, I can go over, right? Yeah, Yeah. if you wanted to, you could totally, because we still have a lot of stuff to fill out. That looks great. So this is C something. So what go it, up one. Yeah, let's figure out where we are. Sure, it's so oh, that's the top. So, this is is this C? Is this where we're on? This so we're on C2. Yeah, okay. Top. This is, Actually, this is the one I was doing. Yeah, I think. That sounds about right. Okay, it goes right to the Welcome edge. to the new world. Whoa. Yeah, this is gonna be hard to even maybe even like collect all these puzzle pieces when we have to. We'll have to be strategic once we get this map done. Yeah. Yeah, I guess so much um, studies have been done on rats. Right. Yeah, because um, so there's the lock. What is so? The key make... is is I bet. B. Yeah, what is top left? The key is B. No. Yeah, well, B the bottom. Oh. Okay. If we wanted to go get the key and see what that does. Um. That would sounds like fun. Sure. Because I just yeah, it's it's like at least that's like a short term goal. Cause this is such a long-term process. <laughs> it is. I feel like we're planning like a wedding or something. It's like we got to figure out where everyone's gonna sit, you know, book a <laughs> venue, then down the road we might get a QR code to maybe unlock another level to then connect to another thing to maybe someday go play it on Facebook to then win a <laughs> uh, world record to then get a DeLorean. That's right. We want that. So yeah, the key is um in B three bottom left. Okay. Well, that's easy. Hooray! And the lock is uh, C2. Two. Top left? Yeah, top, top left. I don't know what I'm going to do about those. That one kills you right away. Oh, God. I have to jump over it immediately. Yes! Whoa! So hard! And this key is gonna be like points. <laughs> it's gonna be it. Guarantee it. It's gonna be nothing yeah. special. You can leave a map without completing the puzzle. Oh. Well, we don't wanna do that. We wanna complete the puzzle. What is this? Let's find out. Oh, that is. That's why he said it. Now, if I leave this, do I come back? Or do I just go to a new level? It doesn't matter. If I. Yeah, this is. This is you can't come back. Oh no! This... That's okay, I'll reset. I'll reset. Whoa. Oh, so that's what this is. I, I thought we were exploring. <laughs> it turned out we um, were defeating the game. What is. Look at this woman! Oh my god! Okay, we will. Like. Shh. We should complete the first one. We're yeah, almost there. We're so close. Yeah. And we know where the key in the lock is, so. Because that looks like a whole other level of heart. That's exciting. Everything's going crazy. There's like a, there's a, there's a blonde woman just running. Lots of good stuff happening. So... So we're at D. Oh, so yeah, this one we can explore. We can map this one or we can map this one, whichever one you want to do. Let's do this one. D1. Here, the other one. Yeah, go Much better game, Thomas. Oh yeah, there's huge, actual like real huge challenges. Huge improvement, man. This is like I would play this game a lot yeah. versus the other game is like. Mm. And obviously, inf infinite replayability because so many possibilities. Yeah, what sixty five thousand per. Uh, yeah, we went from like a like a like a like a five out of ten to like a nine out of ten game, which yeah. is massive, you know. Nothing. Bottom left. 
It is. Beautiful. Like, like, went from like a C to like an A, you know, in terms of letter grades. Like a seriously huge step up. And, um, and, I, and we haven't even like begun. And the obstacles are like so varied. Yeah, that I don't feel like I'm not in this kind of like, because in all honesty, the challenge of the last one was just like the fatigue actually became the challenge, which is not what you want. It's like, oh, I've done this 90 times, I'll do it again. <laughs> oh no, I failed because I was not paying attention. Because I'm so, I'm so bored. <laughs> <laughs> when bored, when you have to fight your own boredom to complete yeah. a game, you know you're in trouble. <laughs> oh, puzzle piece, bottom right of D. Yes. Yeah, man, absolutely. He said I thought the game had potential when I saw it with the passageways. Like, oh, like yeah. Oh, my God. So much potential. And the design is such so cool. That's the fast one. So, middle right. Money. I think I'm going to be killed. This is big nope. A little bit of time. Um, what should I do here? I think I'll go around. I think you can, I think you can get to that down. ladder pretty easily. This guy's fairly slow. Yeah. If you jump off the ladder, then you jump onto this one. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So that pink guy's fast. Now, does the color dictate the speed of yes. these guys? The okay. pink one's always... Excuse me. Now, this one is... Uh, close. This one gives you sort of space. Which is nice. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, my favorite um, story of all time is one called Flowers for Algernon. It's about um, don't mark it yet. It's don't so it yet. good, man. Um, okay, and it's about points. it's about rats. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's about this guy who's um, disabled mentally, yeah. and he takes this drug that um, makes him potentially a genius. Oh. Um, so you get to see his sort of, but it only lasts for a certain amount of time. So okay. you get to see him go through, and it's written um, like his journals. Yep. So you get to see him begin uh, extremely illiterate, essentially, and then you see him, like, so the actual physical writing, you can see his, like, better, his better. grammar transform and his, like, syntax and all this stuff. It's really amazing. And then, and but Algernon is the um, uh, rat that is also being tested with the drug. And so he has this affinity to this rat who he is observing, like, going through the same transformation as him. Oh. So smart. it's one of the best stories ever. It's, like, maybe, like, 30 pages. It's really oh, short. really? It's an amazing story. So, so E2. Yeah. Is an E2? But this is nothing. It's nothing. It's nothing like this. Uh, go, go, go. uh can't get past that guy. Try it out and see. I might get screwed. <sighs> okay, so what do we have? D1. One. One. Okay, so we then. Need to do this yeah, top the one? top left is where we gotta go. So. Okay. And it's nothing. Cool. All that work for Well, let's find out. Um, let's go over? Sure. We can go over. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's deadly. Was there any path across? No. Nope. They're all deadly. All th that is. We'll leave that to last, I guess. That's gonna be the rippy. So top bottom two or nothing. Yeah. This is D two. Yeah. Plus in the middle. Nothing. Money in the middle. Yeah. Don't mark it. Don't mark it yet. Oh god. Right. Yeah, you gotta be so close to these freaking guys. You heard the button. Whoa. Luckily, this one isn't the, like, destroy your life. Yeah. Take everything you're worth. Ah! Nothing. <laughs> For nothing. <laughs> it was the left, right? I believe. This was, like, the, the left was the, was the one that you were on. Right. Uh, I believe so. I'm, I'm like, 99% sure. Go with left. Yes, go with left. Yeah, it was. Yeah. Okay. Oh, this is a really sort of deep sound cut from I Supposed To, which is really interesting. I found out a lot of the classic Atari sound effects are just a counter up or down in a sound channel because it's easy and you just hardly any wrong. Yes. Yes, yeah, just... Like, you can hear the guy at the top. It's just a certain sound going up and down in the 
Is it, is it really pitch shift the frequency, or is, is that the yeah. idea? Yeah, exactly. So it's the same sound, just it it it's using it's using the counter probably of the height of the guy and just matching it straight over to the audio, right? Wow. And it's the same with my, my jumping. Yeah, yeah. So you don't have to have a separate sound and a separate height. Also, it's just a little quick little process. They're doing yeah. the one sound. Wow. Yeah. So they can use the same variable for both things. That's amazing. The height of the jump and the movement of that guy. It's, it's just really smart. Very compact. Yeah. And, so and you want to look for those things because the Atari, if you use the basics of you know what's built into the Atari 128 bytes, you don't have a lot of tracking yeah, you can't just program. Things. Yeah, and I mean, this is a 16K F6. I'm not sure if F6 um, has any extra RAM. Yeah. And, I mean, Thomas would obviously know. No extra RAM no in e this, man. Oh, no. well, wow. this is a big world. And it's it keeps track of all the burgers you've got, all the map. Uh, There's all these the, random generated. All the, the puzzle pieces. Um, where you are on the map, how many lives you have, all in 128 bytes. And, uh, I mean, I'm sure the world is procedurally, like, not procedurally generated, but generated with LFSR, which is the same thing as um, Pitfall used, yeah. where it's just a single seed. Actually, I know it is generated by that. It's the seed that we inputted, A, B, C, D, and everything stems out of that A, B, C, D. Like that character in the middle, him being static, and him being that thing, is created from that ABCD. Wow. The whole world is. Map is generated on the fly. Yep. From, from the ABCD. It's really, really clever way of programming um, to keep the uh, keep program small. really small. I feel like that's the beautiful thing about the Atari homebrew stuff I've been learning, is part of the elegance is trying to cram everything into this, so these interesting boxes that, like, yeah. we all take for granted now, you know, because... What, what was the famous friggin' um, quote from Bill Gates where he said, we'll never need more than... And it was some absurd, like... Yeah, I, I don't... That's, I believe that's misattributed. Is it? Um, but, it but is that... But it's 640K. Because like, that was like a hard limit of early yeah. computers. And, it, and it's just so interesting that we end up like totally taking for granted this idea that data is just so infinite. Like, if you think about... Yeah. You know, it's just... I need to know where to go. Oh, sorry. Um, so we want to go to uh, D two. Are you are you in C's? Uh, B. You can go to C two and you can try oh, that okay. one out if you want. Ah. Um, so bottom has nothing. I'm gonna go to the top. I recommend that. Ah. That's good to know. I'll just X out these boxes. Ah. Yeah, that's so hard. <laughs> Let's check out the top. We'll see what that one's like. Uh, yeah. This, this is the okay. less messed up. Did I repeat okay. this one? Uh, you did, yeah, that one, so you, you gotta basically do these uh, somehow. I can do this one. Not I'm gonna, bad. I'm gonna hex these. At the bottom. It's a wrap. So far. It's money. Money, that's so funny. All that for... So what do we have? So I'm far we die. know one, two, three, four, so I did die immediately. That is terrible. So, yeah. so this one here, we need to we need to do. Um, so this is. Uh, um, so we need to do uh, uh, D, the middle right. So you may as well just do these. Okay. I just want to say something to Thomas that you cannot exit out of that left door without dying on that screen previous. Maybe make it one. Left. And you can't exit out of the right hand door either. You have dying. to come down to get it. You basically have to like lose lives. Yeah, you have Jeez. to lose lives in that right hand, both those middle doors, because the electric things or whatever those. Do you want to? Do you want to maybe finish these electric areas so that we're like done, and then we have? Cause go to the top. This is what I recommend: is coming down that ladder probably. Or you can just do I think it. I can run for it because I'm gonna die coming out anyway. Yeah. Yes, that's to be fixed. Okay. So. Oh, thanks, Thomas. Like maybe make I don't know how are you planning on fixing it. it um, placement of them, or you get a little, the, your guy flashes for a second. Or maybe, That'll be the best fix, because that's the easiest. Every time you come out of a room, you're kind of invincible for yeah. like a couple seconds. 
but I mean, that doesn't really make any logical sense. But. Yeah, or it's probably just, you probably just gotta program these guys and not just wreck you instantly. <laughs> No idea. So no, no idea, idea. how Well, it. there's an idea. It's not maybe the best idea, but... Well, the problem with that is it's you, that opens up a lot of cheesing opportunities. It does. Which is, I think, then that ah. almost becomes part of a strategy. Can I chop this? Yeah. yeah, it does. You work within that. Yeah, and which... And you're like, oh, I'm I'm invincible when I come out. Okay, so this one is the... This is this the crazy is middle one. Middle right. Yeah. Middle right of C2. And luckily... Yeah, so you dollars. don't ever have to do this one again gonna die when I come out of this room. Oh, <laughs> but God. I have to make it out. I wonder if it's possible. We'll see. Maybe I'd say run to the right. That's my guess. Ah! Yeah. Uh, yes, definitely run to the right and jump me. Yeah, I think just being um, respectful about like what's right in front of the doors. <laughs> okay, I think it's after this. Yeah, it is after this. So then run to the right as fast okay. as you can. Oh, well, you don't die right away. <laughs> but, it's, but you're gonna die. Ah! Yeah, I guess I maybe if you jump up on that friggin' ah. uh... On the ladder? Yeah, but still. It's, it's, it's really not good. <laughs> it's not it's pretty good. rough. I think if you had just one... Because you have to make it so that you don't die coming in on the sides, mm -hmm. and you don't die coming out of the doors. So there's very little room left. Yeah, and I mean, I'm, I'm not completely upset if maybe... Like, what, what I would do maybe, I don't know how to do flashing, it. Flashing, flashing. Flashing that you don't die right away, you get a second. Yeah, so like at least you can, and at least then you can maybe figure out your grounds and then yes. go back. Yeah. So you can kind of strategize. Long enough that you can escape anything, but it's still challenging if yeah. there is something. Okay, so you got to do. I would recommend you go down to you got one. You got to do your D two. Oh. Um, so you can do any nice of these. You can do like top the top ones. You got to yep. do. Let's do the top one. Still missing a bunch of puzzle pieces, aren't we? We're only missing two, okay. so um, there has to be one on this screen and has to be one on the next screen, or, or else we'll have to seriously like recalculate <laughs> and look yes. at this like maybe hidden stuff. Uh, I'm thinking this is probably a puzzle piece in this one. So if you wanted to, you could do C now. Uh, so C1 so C. you need to do. So so this one oh, you haven't done. You haven't done anything here yet, so yeah, you can check this stuff. C1, bottom right. Bottom left is... Ooh, rats are running different directions. Puzzle piece! That's about what I thought. That makes sense. So there's probably another puzzle piece in D2. Well, there could be double ones, but so far yeah. I've, I've observed no double puzzle pieces in any level yet. So it's possible, uh. but um, that's something I have observed. Um, which would would make sense for um, uh, no. <laughs> you can do D2 if you want. We still have a lot of C1 to and finish, go to so, C. So, C. so like we still have to do you have to do all those top rooms. No, which suck because all of those are gonna all be, these. Yeah, you have to do uh, all four of those to sort of C. We want to be completionists. Well, we gotta but but if you pieces. ask me, if I were a betting man, and I'm definitely not, um, I would probably bet that there's no puzzle pieces on this screen because we already have one. Yeah. But we'll see. There, he might have doubled up. It's 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 absolutely possible that there's the same. There's been so few burgers. Like, have, is there any one? There's one burger so far. More burgers, please. That's rough. <laughs> <laughs> I love this is so wanted here. Yeah. The, and, and this was uh, right, correct? Middle right? Yes, middle right. Yes. I'm gonna die. I already lost two lives. Yeah, those stationary ones are that's the hardest one. <laughs> Well, at least I found out what was in there. C one. Yeah. So now you got to do the one on the right, on the left. Sorry. Of D one. Of C one. D one's done. I might recommend um. Lower middle right. left. And you got to do the top row too. 
Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, this is I tried vicious. To get on the ladder. Nothing. Nothing. Ready for death? Yeah. Okay. That one didn't kill me. I might do the top. You can circumnavigate it, but this might be hard because maybe come, come down, down the ladder. Yeah. yeah. Fuck that. Or not. Whoa. Okay. So there's just some levels that are just <laughs> really hard. I'm gonna come down the go through the middle. What was, what was on the middle of this? Next? Well, you have there's a ladder, but you gotta oh, jump over them. these guys, right? Um, I might just go. I think the best of the worst is this right here or maybe come from the other ah! side okay okay so there's some Points. money there that's good news that is good news but i guarantee you there's no puzzle piece on the left we have to do it always a ladder ah! go for it it's your chance there we go this, this money yeah. money so, so that whole d2 is where our last puzzle piece is going to be d2 some one of these three rooms Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> These pink guys are tough. I don't mind the pink guys too much. They're not so fast that it's like, oh my god. Thing. So we gotta do um, uh, middle, right, and then the top. And one of these has to be a puzzle piece, or else we have to see what we consider our lives, <laughs> yes. who we are, how we have to move <laughs> to a different city. Yay! Yay! Okay, so we have all the puzzle pieces mapped. Let's just Down do one life. Let's just okay. do the last two. As a map yeah, so that we. Happy burger. That'd be great. I would there be has good. to be one burger, or else there's only one burger on it. I mean, I guess it's RNG, right? It's yep. it's random, so you might. It's possible every room could be a burger, mm -hmm. and it's possible that. Uh, Thomas, those stationary ones are really hard. I don't know if you care. <laughs> you might want to make the, them like a, like a, a pixel short smaller, yeah. so that it's less precise. Or you can just kind of, you know, BHZCS. <laughs> <laughs> just, just, make, just be just like, I adjusted the hardness of your game. <laughs> which okay, top right is Which re requires now a time machine. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Or, or to lose your whole weekend, which is, there's nothing wrong with that. It's fine. But it's... Hard games are necessary. Hard games are awesome. Because they're a challenge. Yes. Algernon. He's a white rat in the story. Oh. So oh white white rats are nice. Yeah, I think it's just these ones, though, man. Because I think everything else is... pixel... The being pixel perfect is pretty tough. It's it's challenge. And and even if you take it down a pixel with on all of like I mean to keep it consistent, you don't have to change the it. The moving ones, yeah, that's not a bad idea. It wouldn't change that much. There's still even, they'll still yeah, be just, just as one. Hard. Just one pixel with less. Okay, so D two and then top left. All the other enemies, enemies are fine. The rats are fine. Moving those guys, those are all fine. I would never want to jump over one. Uh, so we can try that later, because yeah. we should have to try that. Because maybe it's just too hard. Yeah. So I'm, I'm not, I never bring up like, like internet, sort of like meta youtube -y stuff on the show. Yeah, it's but, not great. It's not great, but I wanted to bring up one tiny thing, which was like, have you ever heard the, it's all over the place with the Jake Paul friggin' thing. Have you heard the latest and greatest? The latest? Oh, okay. That he's created this like, um, Oh, yeah. This, I watched. Isn't that amazing? It's... This, um, this, it's it's ridiculous. Yeah, it's it's, it's multi-level mark. Well, it's not because he's not asking people to be teachers. He's basically saying, "Fuck the school system. Join my That's thing for fifty dollars a month, and I will teach you how to be me, an uh, influencer." Yeah, literally be him. Which is really a sort of, and then it's like he's throwing money off a balcony, and then you look around at the audience, and it's like fourteen-year-old. They're just fans. Boys. They're not. They're not really there to learn to be him. They probably are too. But 
like, well, that's the thing. I'll is, be there to meet him. And, and what what becomes really what, what what I was thinking about about it all week is, man, it's interesting how these ethics of influencers at a certain point, especially when your audience is very young. Yes. Is that dangerous? Because I feel like you know we can especially, say whatever the hell we want because you know. But our I mean, audience is quite a bit older. Well, of course, there's nothing I'm gonna say that's gonna change someone's <laughs> life. But if you're, but if like, mostly my, ignore us. But if my audience was like 11 year old boys and they all wanted to be me, well, that, there's a there's a responsibility there, man. Which is so I'm gonna nice. reset. Yeah. Because I only have one life. Do it, and then we'll, we'll then push we'll go for puzzles. the puzzles. Okay, so what's interesting if you look at this map, the this one's easy because all the puzzles are exactly boom, the same. Boom, boom. And then when we go nice. to the top, so you can just you along see, the bottom row up. Oh. And, and then, then I'll over. just worry about the bottom, and then I'll let you know the top ones when you, when you get there. And, and oh, then the computer, so we have to backtrack a little bit. Yeah, but, but you may as well good. get the one that's right beside the computer last. And then there's a bur one burger that we can get for you. Yeah, just in case. Just on in the case. way. Yeah. But yeah. Okay, so I've got the first one. And the next one's the right. But I don't know what the dark night of the soul of of your life is. I feel like, man, <laughs> if 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 I was fucking hawking like. Like a streaming platform, which tells kids to quit school and like, oh, join. I just—it's this pretty dark moment, and I don't know. And it's like—is that a contribution you want to make to society? If, if he was just saying, "Take my course," sure, that's fine. He's a very successful YouTuber. Absolutely. But if he's saying quit school, which he is, <laughs> that's a whole other level of. And people. especially when you're talking to middle schoolers, like you're not talking to adults, yeah. because with adults you can, they'll make their mind up. It doesn't. You know, obviously, like you know, I think there's a, like if you're telling people, man, you should do a bunch of hardcore psychedelics, <laughs> which is you know what yeah, some thing. influencers do, man. Yeah. Which I think there's like expand your mind. But at least at least you're you're recommending that to adults who are making those decisions. But if you're know that you're demographic and you're specifically targeting them because part of it was like yo my he, he was like writing like something so top middle right for the next one yeah middle right's your next one but but he was even including in his thing like um uh this is what you say to your parents to oh, get them to one. i didn't his, actually watch the video i watched somebody's commentary yeah video. i watched multiple commentaries i thought it was too great i just was like you know doing research for things and thinking about like whoa because i'm so fascinated with youtubers and like people who are just so narcissistic that they want to be like oh my god the person you know so it's, but i was like yeah i was like add that to the list of <laughs> yeah <laughs> of, of interesting shit that about we've been youtubers we've been yeah because yeah, we've been doing some research on on these these kind of characters and yeah talk uh middle left yeah, I might save this one till the last because it's right by the computer. Oh, yeah. If I could find a, a good path over yeah. to the burger and then up. Yeah, I mean, let's see. Yeah, okay, that's oh, good. good. I could have died. So this is C, there. and then so the burger is right there. So, so you're in. Hold on, you're in B three, correct? Uh, yeah, two. You're in B two. Okay, yeah, I'll get the burger. So B two. Yeah, I get the burger. Top right. Top right, correct. Oh, a nice easy one. Hooray. That's a good burger too. Really nicely drawn bird. Uh, and then up is the. What's up here? I'm so scared. Yeah, this one here. This is another, another Second to last piece. puzzle piece. Yeah, and then we're almost good, man. That's really that's great. Life, dude. Then we can take a look at the, the next... expanded uh, enemies. Yeah, the expansion. Yeah, expansion pack. That's good. This is already is the expansion. Where we'll fight Bale or destruction. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Got that burger. That was close. I think there's like a pixel leeway. Yeah, this is rough because basically now you're forced to do. You almost want to do this one first, maybe, because now you're fucked. Okay, we're gonna do this one first, James. Yes, we because are. Because the other ones, I think you can totally do. So I'll go all the way to the left, pop all, you know, yep. so that you. This might not. Just so that you can have a safe, oh, safe passageway. Yeah, yeah. That's up. true. I should be doing. Uh -huh. um, no. Keep going. Oh, I think there's better. There's safer. Oh, there's safer. Yeah. And then we'll go all the way up to um, four. So keep going up. And then we'll go. So I'll go up to three, and then we'll go over to the right and see if that yeah. if that's easier. If it's a nightmare, we'll we'll rethink it. But I'm thinking this is at least a at least a go. Yeah, I think so. Oh, did I go too high? I think I did. Oh no. Yeah, you're good. So this is um. This is B. 
Yeah, so now you want to yeah. go. So you, now you want to go to uh, right. the right, and this is our. This is the pain. This is, this is our. The box of pain. It's like, oh yeah, that's all you get. That's all you need. Is yeah. this it? Is the right one? Yeah, but I find YouTubers very interesting. God, I like them. But I find I find like the, the meta story more interesting than their content personally. Yes. Like the the human being who's kind of remained a child in some ways forever because they're sort of you know and they're always mar and they're always marketing to a very young audience. I th yeah, because they're influential. They're the people who buy the T-shirts, the merch, merch, makeup. That's the gig. That's how they make their money. I remember. Like, oh my god! I was watching a video where someone asked like, "Where do you make all your money?" And they're like. Merch. merch. Oh yeah. With a great Jake Paul fucking like thing of just like buy that merch song. <laughs> it's like <laughs> I don't even know we've we we've that merch, we've, that we've that like merch. entered into like a the burger now. Yeah, you do need so the bottom now to go to the right and that's the burger. Yay. Good. I've done the hard part, unless the last puzzle piece so, is hard too. Yeah, so now go all the way down to the bottom and then you can just hit them off because you can go and because if you see here you kind of almost do a circle right and you work your way up that's a really good thing. it's almost why i feel in some ways like yep. personally almost like i mean if we did do like t-shirts and stuff for <laughs> so, like hot cakes well <laughs> too limited audience but it's true. Well, I, the people would probably like. I do plan on doing that. I just we will. have to have time to do it. I, and I think that there's a there's a line where, um, yeah, it, you, there's exploitation. There, there's yeah, a, and I would never want to cross over into that, you know. Yeah. But just have, giving you guys a T-shirt that you can hang out with. That's that's awesome. Yeah. What I'll probably do is design a a couple. Damn it! And then have people vote on it. Yeah. Because then I know that it's going to sell some, at least. Yeah. And then people will get the one they like the oh, most. Oh, and you had an idea about shipping and stuff. You won't, you know, right? Oh, yeah, drop shipping. The right. Drop shipping just means it doesn't come from me. Yeah. It comes from the people who make the t-shirts. So it's it's cheaper for everyone. And it's easier for it's you, Easier man. and cheaper Because you don't need more shit to do. That's No, because I had another thing I was doing. And you there's a bunch of t-shirts in the other room. Yeah, you kind of need stuff taken off your plate, man. You don't need Not stuff more. added. We got kind of almost a lifetime's worth of work to do, even with just the shit. That I have more than a lifetime. Okay, uh, this is so we gotta where go. I want to be. Oh, no. I have to go there. Do you want to? I'd probably jump up on that ladder. Yeah. Okay. And now straight um, up. So straight. So one. we're at D one, straight up, and then it's gonna be. Oh my god. I might highly recommend going onto that ladder as a midpoint. You know what I mean? Yeah, so I you think like, so. like kind of like um go over and then yeah because that is very challenging yeah i'm sure you got this now or not uh oh yeah okay let's start whoa oh that wow. was just luck that he was at the wrong that was good yeah. no. Lucky. and the middle right is the it's the way we go okay get my hat down my hat is vulnerable uh -oh. it always is man oh yeah this again Last life! Hooray! Better you than me. <laughs> got a better shot than I do. <laughs> so we got one last one, man. But if you can make it through this, you got this. Oh, stakes are hot. Okay. Stakes so are all you, very all you hot. gotta do is go up and um, be very careful right with these ladders. Um, it is gonna be its top left. So just make sure you don't die in this next screen. I believe this is not an impossible one. I hope. Yeah, I think it was the easiest one. That's why I wanted to save this one for last. I remembered correctly. And now the computer terminal is right there. Hooray! And then we get the key, oh, go to the next shame. one. And what does it do? Does it say I win the game? Well done, you solved this stack's puzzle. Next stack. Ah, okay. So you get to continue. And then you, you get, get the no key. points. Wouldn't it be nice if. <laughs> I think it'd be nice to give you, like, full health at that point, honestly. Yeah, at least a life. Or like a life. I would give you like, I would just bet. Not full, but at least a life. But I mean, it's rewarding you for the puzzle, man. Because it's like, that's, then you feel like. Yeah, full life maybe, maybe wouldn't be a bad thing. Because cause you have, you're entering into the next like challenge. Good idea. Yeah. Because yeah. the next challenge is infinitely harder. We just glanced at it. And it was like chaos. Because now we got to get the key. Okay. 
which um, is, which is left. gonna be left. And he loops around. It's not too bad. The key is, is bottom left. Okay. So this one's not too bad, and then the lock is um, bottom left in the C, so I might actually just pop over and then go down this ladder if you can. I'll hold up. Oh, C, okay. So if you know, um, uh, yeah, so here you go, and now you go top left? on top left, so if you just pop over, it's the first door. Yeah, there you go. It's not those. It's this? Yes. Okay. Oh god. I forgot. Okay. I'm gonna jump. When you have no lives, it's... So maybe go there with all lives. Well, we only... We've, the problem, we will if we die. The problem is, is that um, we... we There's no burgers to, like, even... Because we only have one burger in this <laughs> round. So this is all we got. Oh, I see the next level with all lives. Because we'll go to the next level and we'll be dead instantly. Yeah. Okay, we will redo it. We're here yeah, anyway. Uh, but it's good. This is our... But yeah, I do think if you gave us full lives... Um, Look at that, guys. Just... Oh, that's cool. Just creeping along. <laughs> that's the... Now, let's 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 do this. Let's map this one. Okay, cool. Next page. Yeah. So I made a big map, because well, Thomas let me know at the, uh, today that it's just like... Because I said, we're going to do a complete run-through. Yeah. He's like, complete, eh? You He's know, like, it goes infinitely that, kids. <laughs> on every level. Ooh, okay, so... So you have to mark down, like... Okay, let's get a sense of this B1. area though, because I don't know. So, is it, so there's no. This is ground ah. floor though, so I can do B here. Yes. Um, no. Oh, you mean? Yeah, because this is. Uh, oh no, no, no. one. One. Oh, one I there. see. And then um, then one, two, three. So do and that then at a, least. A B. Okay. Yeah. Each map is bigger than the previous until a certain limit. Okay. Okay, cool. So this is one. Is here. Yeah. And then we'll say A is here. Yep. So let's do this first. Cool. Room. Is nothing. And there's nothing here. Not even a secret door. No secret hmm. door. I think that we need an we need some incentive to yeah, finish nothing, that. Nothing. I think we need something to finish that puzzle. This is just my opinion. I mean, we need some benefit to oh, doing yeah. that puzzle. I think lives. Lives, but I'm wondering if there's even something more that we could do. You know, like it, maybe points. like a, a speed points. up for your guy or something. Like if there's something that in gameplay that makes, because right now I see no incentive to ever complete those puzzles. No, it's and about I, levels. And so I think that like lives, like, yes, for sure, full lives. Or, That's a huge incentive. Or if you get like maybe four lives if you complete the puzzle instead of three, or like your guy's slightly uh -huh. faster, like something that's like like, hard-coded in so that it's like, okay, I want to finish this puzzle so my guy, like, my guy's stronger so I can... Because if I, if, like, when I play games, I go for levels. Yeah. Because if points are just points, unless I'm going for a high score, I go for, oh, I wonder what's on the next level, especially when it changes and there's new enemies. Like, I'm, I'm just really? trying to think, like, if there were something, I, I don't know what it has to be, but that, that would make me feel, like, more... Yeah, we gotta... Okay, so um, it is I'm just go straight B3, up. and then it's the... And see, so, yeah, I would do the same method. That up, we and around. up and around. Is the call. Yeah, I would. I don't know what that is yet, but I would recommend something. At least full lives. At least, right? But you're saying something on top of... But who will collect six puzzles even for three lives? That's the thing. That's why I'm thinking yeah. there has to be something more. Like if like your guy's permanent? slightly faster, or like you get like a... Like a... Like a B3? Yeah. Or, or you get like a something that 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 adjusts the gameplay on like a on a on a deep level, so that I f then feel like I want to engage in the in the in the game. Yeah. So um, bottom bottom left. You can't duck. I don't think he's as he. I don't think you've implemented anything that you need to duck for yet. There is ducking. Yeah, because you get full lives and then something that's like seriously decent.
was, um, because, yeah, I want to complete, that's the yeah. thing, I want to do the puzzles, I love that, but I it's also, great. but the problem is, is now that we've done it, I don't see any reason ever to do it again, Never. and I think that's a, that's a design, that could be solved with a simple with big thing. Re a reward that's worth it. That's significant, and it doesn't even have to be that massive, um. Yeah, I don't know what it would be, um. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay, so I'll leave that is, to your thoughts. <laughs> yeah. I mean, definitely three lives. Three lives you need for sure. To yeah, because then you're going to be wasting lives doing these puzzles. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to go because I can't. What should I do? I mean, what honestly, is, man. Does he stay in the same spot? It remembers. Reset. Okay. Um. So let's do the top left. Oh, and then I have to do the key and the block again. Money. <laughs> nope. Wait. Exit that way. Enemies reset relative to your entry. Oh, position. that's really good to know. So we can be oh. more strategic about some of our approaches to some of the some of the like. Well, that's smart. So. Oh no. Ah. Holy. Ah. Yes. I love this crazy I don't know what there's gal. Okay, I'm going to let you... Well, because there's more to read out about Thomas's implementation. Ah, oh, cool. I could rewind. That is true. We'll keep rewinding. Um, yeah, time for the time machine. I can read some stuff. I always love reading. So we won't bother mapping this one. Okay, cool. Yeah, you can just play and yeah. then rewind. And, we, and we just, like, how much do I got to read? Show me the spark part to stop. The whole, oh, the whole... She just like warps me. The whole thing thing oh, yeah, awesome. I'll start from the top cool. she throws me into a room story time folks. look 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 it's like chuck whoa throws me into the room i love that i wasn't even near that room too it's like ah that's cool that's it's cool. nice that it's a different thing you know it's a different kind of mechanic oh my god how do i even get away from her I have to run 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 ah ah <coughs> ah oh that's my nice. god um uh -oh. yeah rewind to when you got three lives Oops. Three lives? Yeah. That's a very smart idea. <coughs> oh, Sorry. there we go. Bless you. I'll wait till we're safe. Gesundheit. You will lose a puzzle piece, if I recall oh. correctly. Oh, so she steals your puzzle piece? Oh. That's, that's cool. Really that's like the bat. Yep. Ah! <coughs> cool, that was good stuff. Oh my god, you're very sneezy. Sorry, it's just all the camera. Um... <laughs> Bad cat. Oh, no, this is my bad. Um, here are some brief instructions, mainly for the new game variation. The original game's manual can be found here. Variations. The original contest game variation, this has to stay as is, so all the changes are in right. variation too, which is really smart. It makes complete sense. Because then you want to keep the port Whoa. intact. Yeah, it's you also do. A port. It's almost a historical document at a certain point. Yeah, you did bug fixes, which is good. I mean, yeah, man, but that's so legit. This, oh, they're inside! Inside. <laughs> I don't know how you're gonna get back. Though. Oh, look! It's, it's forcing you to jump over one. Okay, this just became next level. You have to pay for service. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, yeah, puzzle piece. Um, variations with randomly generated stack maps, where two has the smallest map and the lowest pace, and four the largest map and the fastest pace. I remember that because it speeds up. When you go to the higher levels, right? The numbers besides the variation to define the random seed for the generated maps, which includes everything. Trailer, ladder, position, obstacle, puzzle. This means you have 65,535 start maps for each variation That's available. Lot. That's a lot. That's you can enter a seed uh, to replay a previous game. In that case, the generated map will be 100% identical. Yeah, Which so. is great, because then you can concentrate your map Terrific design out. choice, yeah. man. So you can map the game and replay the map stacks much easier. In variation 1, the game is static. Seven screens wide, four screens tall. It is limited by the borders on the left and right. And this defeat it go to the gray zone. <laughs> do, 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 do. Um, varying sizes. Um, there are no left or right borders. Instead, you find endless empty areas. It's endless. Yeah. Does it say, is it an endless question mark? Winky face? Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. 
I, I can't jump over this. Come that way, but... I'm a machine. Like, can you jump over it? You must be able to, because, like, I need to get past him. I'm trying to get it as close as possible to him. But I have to time it, too. Like, you I thought that was, you almost got to do a running go at it. What a no, tough There's one. no momentum, but... Um, so it says the main goal is to collect six puzzle pieces which are hidden inside the trailers and bring them to the hideout. A trailer marked with a question mark sign located at the top and far right of the current stack map. The second goal is to collect a key and find the lock. This opens a door that allows you to move to the next map. This map will be a bit larger and more difficult with new obstacles, storage devices, and a food power-ups. And food power-ups. So we get more health. More? Potentially. Okay. Potentially. <laughs> the third goal is to collect storage devices and food power-ups for extra points. Both can be found outside and inside trailers. A joystick. You move Wade, the hero of the... Wade. Game. What's his... Wade Wilson? Was that his name? Is it? I think it's some... I think it's crazy, like a Marvel-style alliteration, oh, yeah. if I remember correctly. Is it... What is it? Wade Wilson? I think it is. Um, the well, what's the name that they one. said last time? Oh, it was... It, Gunner. Egg collector. Oh, egg hunter. Gunner. Gunner. I can't jump over this guy. Like, I wasn't exactly or maybe close not. there. Oh. No, just bad. Or maybe not. Like, seriously. Um, you get big points for collecting puzzle pieces. Bring them to the hidden Bring uh, to the hideout and assemble them. Additional points are provided by the collecting the key using the lock. Collecting the storage device called computer parts in the old manual and food power up. The ladder also provides you an extra life. Um, the ladder? Oh, hold on, the addition. I think he was meaning more like the ladder is in like the assembling all the puzzle pieces. Like more like oh. ladder in terms of like the ladder or like the ladder. Former. Um, like a L A T T E R. Okay, ladder. Yeah. Um, also provide you an extra live up to three. You can also get a bonus life every ten thousand points. There are numerous. Ten thousand. Yeah, that's pretty okay, that's, pretty intense. That is pretty intense. Um, there are numerous enemies. New enemies and food power ups and storage devices are revealed when you progress to the next map using key and lock. Most of them are plain deadly or on contact. Others will steal your puzzle pieces or the key, reduce your score, or move you on the map. Wade can jump over some or duck them or run through them using their inactive times. You will soon find them. Yeah. You will. Yes, it's you so will. True. Yeah, I think um, it is impossible. Um, signs help you navigate the map by telling that was you perfect. at which columns and rows of the stacks you are. And note, between variations 1 and 2, let's look at it. The oh, four. Two frame by frame. Oh, not really. Can you do frame? Oh, you can. Ah, uh, let's let's analyze. Zoom analysis. That one frame. Minus thirty. Oh, that is one frame. Okay, is it? That's not one frame. What is this? Is this one frame? Plus thirty frames. Oh, that's plus five seconds. No, 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 no. Where's one? Can I do one frame? I guess it's not. Is there a key for one frame? Yeah, friends. There must be. be good to know. Must be. Look it up. See if anybody can help me out. Um, okay. Stella. Keys. Oh, he says that you can um, uh, uh, change the TM intervals in the options. Oh, okay. Which makes sense. Uh, hot keys. Yeah, because I guess it uh, records at intervals because it takes up memory every time it it takes a snapshot. So it can't do it as much. It has that much buffer, and if you reduce it down to every frame, it's only going to have like ten seconds. Yeah. Yeah. Hold on, I gotta blow my nose because okay. these hairs. I'll be right back. Be... Oh, it's by states, not frames. So I'd have to change the frames. Anyway, so we won't do that. Well, let's let's do that. Well, then we lose our lives. Uh, I don't think it's possible. I don't think it's possible. 
even if it is possible, that's really hard. It is. If we time machine that, like, what, like, 15 times and you couldn't do it? Yeah. That's, that's challenging. <laughs> um, he what says you can to? you can disable TIA collisions for cheating, but you shouldn't have to cheat to oh, yeah. do it. I that. could disable it. But then it's like, what, why are we even playing a game? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. That's the point. I go too far now. So the other thing I would say is that we've gone from, like, normal mode to, like, Spartan mode. <laughs> you know, like, instantly. Yeah. We kind of went from, like, you know, I'd say we went from, like, I don't know, like a, like a, like a 6 out of 10 to, like, an 11 out of 10 <laughs> challenge. So you might want to oh, scale yeah. that a little bit as well, just to, just to be kind to us poor players. I, uh, I don't know. I, I don't mind the difficulty, but... There needs to be maybe it needs the points you need to. It is hard. It is... Okay, this is the one I wanted. I'm still at the same one. Oh, I'm sorry. Of course, it's on the to-do list. I'm being a dick. Yeah. Absolutely. Oh, do I have to face this guy? Now, what do I do? Am I in trouble again? No, death. But he's moving, so I might be able to jump over. Yeah. It might be just the static guy. hard though. Oh, okay. just run straight. There. Yay! Okay, we, that's definitely more than, more than possible. Those guys, those guys moving like that is fine. That's not a bad challenge. A disc. I mean, this would change the entire game for sure. But one option is that, and I mean, I don't, again, this is just fucking me being like, I don't know how hard this is to implement, but if you gave the player a means to kill maybe these floating guys um, <laughs> as a reward for defeating the puzzle pieces, that could be an interesting option. Where do I get out of here? Um, yeah. Cause then, cause then, cause right now the only thing that seems to be like, cause you can't destroy the electricity, but maybe like, and so maybe, and maybe you develop a means like each puzzle piece to like defeat some of these enemies. Yeah. That, there's something nice about that because then you can still play the game traditionally and not have that. But if you had the ability to like, you know, unfair. Yeah, I, mean, I guess so. Adding in bullets. Is a very different dynamic. I think so. To the yeah, game. and it's probably not right. It's just kind of bullshitting, but yeah. I'm trying to think. That I think there should be something that's like. I think maybe your speed would be a nice. That would be a nice option. Like you just run faster. Because you already have that as a as a as a mechanical element in the game. Higher. <laughs> Jump slightly higher, move slightly faster, like, yeah, or something yeah. like that. Let me try this guy again. The electricity is not in every level they're replaced later. Yeah, definitely unfair. I guess I guess I would maybe maybe the, the best idea I can think of is if you speed up if your guys a little bit faster. And that would also uh, jumps a bit higher. That would solve or the jumps problem. Jumps farther. Jumps farther. Or higher. Or both. So that way it's like you can still you know, you can you can still just try to like push the game without the upgrades, but then you kinda upgrade your guy. Something. <laughs> I don't think you can jump that guy. No. I've tried like 30 times or more. I think he is impossible. That yeah. was very, very That was close. about as close as you can get, I think. Yeah. <laughs> a, little, a little early on the jump on that one. I'm gonna try to a couple more times just to I really want to know. But even even if you can jump him, it's obviously super hard. Yeah. Like way harder than the static little things. Definitely. Because that guy's higher than those. Um, I think a little bit higher than those stack. That was that was that was I would almost say as good, about as good as you get. Yeah. It out of there. I declare those impossible. 
talk about me. This mission oh. just became impossible. <laughs> <laughs> Turn to the camera. Do do do. Oh hey! The lock. Let's get to level three. Well, we know where the lock is now. Something and something. Nice that you no, can. That science. ladder is actually really useful for that. I'm it so is. into it. Uh, Look how fast that guy is. <laughs> okay, speedy. Yeah, that ladder is great. That's really good. Then you go in there, and then you go down here, and then you can pass them. But cool. It's cool that it's like. So that's B. The top. B yeah. at the top. B3. Can you put lock? Oh, yeah, sorry, I kind of... I know, we said stop, but I, I found the lock. The, the lock yeah, now. that makes sense. So what are we at? This is, um... B... Um, What's the number? That's the question. I want to know. So this is two, two three. So, so B3. Three. B3. And then it's Top, or middle, right. B3, middle, right. B3, middle, right. It's lock. Done. Because if we find the key, me. we can go We can it. go to the next level. Yeah, because I would never <laughs> fuck with those puzzles. No, this is hard enough. Forget the puzzles. Jesus. Yay. And maybe make the lo the either the points you Unless get Unless my guy things. was upgraded, and then that would be fun. Yeah. The points you get for things, or the threshold for a free life lower. Yeah. Are these faster? Uh, no. I think they're a no. bit faster. The same timing. The same timing, but you see, they're, I feel like they're moving a bit faster. They are. No. Maybe actually it's just slower. Maybe it's just my brain. Maybe. Did I investigate all these? I don't think so. Nope. If I can find that key. We're going to be finishing soon. <laughs> yeah. Because if... But if we can find the key... That would be, that would be super awesome. That would be really fun. Where's the key, Thomas? Everything moves no, a bit faster know. here, he says. So I guess, uh, I guess yeah. maybe my perception. I move faster. That's the thing. So I move faster, but they also move faster. Oh, yeah. It's just all speeds up. That's cool. I love that. It is. And it's not, like, a lot faster. Just a little bit. Lots of mapping. And nothing. Good stuff, man. Yeah, I'm a big fan of this. Of Thomas's work on this. this is really good. Oh, I see. Yeah. His need to play the first one and then do this one is such an improvement. I'm waiting. Oh, it is a huge improvement. There, you see. It just needs um, a reason to get the puzzles. Yes. A big reason. Yeah, something that's like significant, and then. But I actually love lock the, and key are great. They're yeah. great. They're fine. And I love the idea that you don't need the puzzles to get onto the next level because yeah. it means that when you complete it, but then there's a, but if there's a benefit for it, that would be so awesome. Right, puzzle. But I don't care. Yeah, it doesn't that's matter. The thing. I just, I just don't care enough about the puzzle. It or just, it maybe every puzzle piece you get an extra man. Or maybe something. Maybe that's too much. That's probably way too much. I do see what you mean, for sure, because I think there's still some, yeah, 95%, it's kind of like all the, the gameplay is good. Oh, all the enemies Everything are great. Everything is great, it's just, I guess there's just a little tweaks, you know, like simplifying. Keep balancing. Yeah. That's what it is. It's, it's all balancing stuff. I do see what you mean with 95% done. Yeah. yeah. That makes a lot of sense. It's worth me. it though, man. It's a fucking great game. Yeah. It's a really good game. Like the fact that we can carry finished. an entire show with one game. It tells huge. you how good a game is. Because there's, yeah. there's not that many games you can carry a whole fucking show. Oh, no, you'd be, like, done. After yeah. Half an hour on most games. Even even Galagon, like, it's an incredible fucking game. I don't know if we could do, like, a full Galagon Because it's not an adventure game. Yeah. I mean, unless you're play. a really good player, which I I'm, I just like the game. I'm not yeah. a really great player. And that's, like, you know, you know, the 80-20 rule. Fuck, I know that way too well, my friend. I know that yeah. way too well. Eighty twenty rules my life right now. <laughs> I 
I was thinking it's I, <laughs> I, I always put mine at 90. Yeah, it's, 90 like, it's like the, yeah, it's the last like 10% is yeah, just. Yeah, it's, it's slog. It's a tough, tough go. Yeah. Uh, that guy's. What's on. nice about this one is well, at least the timing's right. At least you know that on the way back. Oh, you gotta do it twice. Ah! <laughs> wow. At least yeah. you know on the way back you're fine. Yes. Yes. Well, at least worth it, I guess. Yeah. yeah way too back many, you're too fine. Too many everything stop at eighty percent, man. I think it's because the creator gets everything they're meant to get out of it, and that last twenty percent is really for the it audience. Is. And it's yeah. and if you're, I was gonna say selfish, but that's the wrong word. It's not selfish. It's kind of like you you kind of you've gotten there and you're kind of done. You've overcome the challenges. You've made the game. Yeah. The yeah. rest is for the players. The the fun factor. Yeah, and it's like all those Jesus. tweaks are so hard, you know. Trust me, I got a lot of projects. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I forgot. It would be nice if they weren't right there, but it's fine. There's enough room. It's yeah, those got. Oops. <laughs> Accidentally press up. Oh, look, it gets more. Oh, that's not bad. It's actually, really nice. That it has a, a logarithmic. So if you, you can just bring it all the way back to like. Um, oh yeah. Before true. you jump over these things. The before time. Save, save you. A bit. Whoa! At least we found a burger. <laughs> Yay! What freaking level's this, though? Needs more burgers. That would help a lot. Just, just more burgers. More burgers, yeah, in general. Because we only found one last time, and so far there's still just one. Oh my god. This... Whoa. I'd say middle is the easy. Especially when it loops. Whoa, never mind. Whoa, never mind. <laughs> Forget about it. Forget about it. Another <laughs> accent. <laughs> yeah, it's so good. Ah, oh, run! Just the you safe, wait. This, this is the, the safe arms of Mr. P. Ooh, yeah, that's always dangerous. Mr. P. God <laughs> damn it, is that a creepy name? These guys need to be randomized. They're always the same. They stop at that pillar every time, like, on the way back. Same thing. So I know I can always run past them. All that for a cassette tape of Nickelback. <laughs> yeah, and it's not even a good a good album. And it's all it's it's, the worst album. It's been degraded over They're, time too. It sounds like well, the noise guess. floor is pretty high it is. <laughs> on this <laughs> Nickelback album. Ah, <laughs> uh, and we're done. And rip. Oh, excellent, excellent game. Uh, it's. Bloody hard. Oh, what a good game, though. So you do have to use strategy of where you enter in tactics. on the screens. A lot of tactics. Needs to be less this is painful. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Less painful. Yeah, um, could you imagine? More, either more lives or easier. Or easier to get lives. Yeah, one be, of those things. Let's be like in the future when our civilization crumbles and they find just like one of our hard drives and it's just duck faces, just nothing but just just selfies. It's yeah. like primitive man appeared to <laughs> push its lips out. And That's a, right. This must have had mating something to ritual. do with their yeah, mating rituals. Not untrue. <laughs> <laughs> it's not wrong. Yeah. This is what, yeah, so heartbreaking. So incredible. Oh, such a good game, man. Yeah, incredible, incredible game. Where's my mm. little pad there? Right here. Actually, I don't even need it. Um, yeah, it just needs some tweaks. Hopefully, some of the things that we've said will point you in the right direction. I think some things it's like, are, are obvious fixes. Like, I can't jump over those. Or it's really hard to jump over that static stuff. Like, near impossible. One of the golden rules of yep. criticism is that typically the 
prescriptions people give the diagnosis is their suggestions are generally terrible but they are generally pointing towards a thing that's real you know yeah so it's like probably you know fucking who gives a shit about any of the things we said specifically but just right. these areas might be things to look at yeah just like is anyone else but me in the stream there are a lot of people actually few, they're just yeah. they're just like people are just in chiller mode you know <laughs> just like chilling Doing, I, doing the work yeah, to the I, side, have the stream off to the side. I swear, some some episodes like this, there's lots of people watching, but it's, it's just, one of those games where it's they're just chilling. They can watch it, yeah. keep it off to the side. They don't have anything to add. Um, but uh, yeah, main takeaways, um, it's awesome. It's <laughs> That's a great game, yeah. Um, um, and also your improvements from, and I love that the, we have the oh, port. Yeah. And then we have this two, three, and four is really brilliant. And the, the the seed that you can have infinite types of games. That's amazing. Different challenges. It's awesome. I, I think that like that method would be great. It could be applied to lots of other homebrews. Oh like it's God, unbelievable yes. of like RNG maps, like even Penult, which we were doing. Like if that had a had a thing like that, would be amazing. That it's like a different map. I think I'm too way too fucking complicated. Yeah, I think that's more a story he's going for in this round. Yeah. But if you could take like the Penult universe this... and randomize it a little bit, but how do you make like oceans and streams? Oh, it's probably impossible. That's very hard. But what I'm saying is that this yeah. this this L yeah. is really great. That yeah. you know A B C D elements and so just some of the enemies are super challenging and it's obvious the ones you know we've i think been... yeah and i think the big thing is the puzzle what to do about the puzzle I, it needs more rewards like every puzzle piece gives you another life yeah i, I tried I, that out replay value is always important i really respect that thrust because yes. that's yeah. actually a really really big deal because yeah. you want um, people people want to get value out of if if you're going to sell this game i don't know what the situation is with the the naming or the legacy that it was tied to a book and all that stuff but if you're going to sell it people want value even free games they want yeah. that value out of it that and, they're going to come and back I to it personally as a gamer have always been drawn to games that i can go deeply into i've never been a kind of like some people's steam accounts have like fucking 90 games i've never been that <sighs> guy like obviously i'm like i play we play oh. diablo 2 forever i play path of exile forever like i'm i'd much rather if i like a game i want to play that game for a long time so i really respect yeah. that you're into the replay value because that's what if i like a game i want to i want to play it for a long time yeah and um, he says there's homebrews of which could be done in 10 seconds how bad is that that's not great yeah you want you want at least even if it's a simple game a single screen single concept game yeah you want it to at least last you know minutes yeah longer <laughs> than 10 seconds hour. man yeah because single screen single concept games can be very very interesting and, yeah and if they have enough a great idea behind it especially randomization they can be replayable a lot but this has so many screens there's screens within screens which is always fun like yeah. the, going into the trailers there um, was there was like um a rick and morty joke where they were like police procedurals done in 10 seconds where like this person walks up and he's like wonder who killed this person and someone walks by i killed him with this knife and then it's like grr, grr, in jail you know <laughs> so it reminds yeah. me of that where it's like the, the 10 second thing is is, is <laughs> hilarious because if yeah. something goes that fast i mean and i don't think the solution to dealing with people's add is to make things faster i think we just have to we have to deal with it differently yeah because people are certainly more add but it's not they are it's it's because we've got a lot of instant gratification Spark. with our media and entertainment. It's yeah. just at our fingertips. Like so much is at our fingertips yeah. tips now. You have to have to compete with that in yeah. some level, but you don't have to as yeah, well. Yeah, you can you can do your own thing, and it's yeah. I remember one adventure like game which has no randomness. After you've beaten it, you can do intense. That's a problem. Huge. Like the whole map is exactly the same every time. Yeah, and you know the perfect route. It's like speed running. Yes. If you know how to speed run, like, say, Super Mario 1, you can beat it in, I think, it's four minutes or something, four and a half. Some of these games, it's like four and a half minutes. But if you play it properly and it has those barriers in the way that you can't do the speed yeah. run, where you are forced to do the hard level, you have to go underground, you have to go through a pipe, you can't just warp, run on top of the bricks and go to the warp level. Um, but it also gives you the option of doing both but the adventure game is more akin to like well you have to go get the sword 
the sword is always there. Yeah. That's the first thing you have to do. Why would you take a long route? Yeah, you just what go the get point? the sword and then you go do a thing and then you're done. It's yeah, like... and bring the sword back to this or stab the dragon. The dragon's always there. It always has this pattern of attack that's really memorizable. Yeah, and, and the RNG elements yeah. that are in play for games that are randomized for speedrunners, those are the coolest speedruns to watch because there's an element of skill and chance. Yeah, and adaptability, really, yes. Which is really cool. Yeah. Um, so this is a great example of a game that has depth, um, has replayability because of the randomization, has a lot of skill needed because there's yeah. so many different um, enemies that you have to deal with inside and outside and they have different movements and you're not you don't know what to expect so you gotta kind of peek into the room or peek onto the next level and oh no i have to take the top ladder to go down yeah. and around i hope penalt will get some randomness yeah that will be good. i mean penalt has randomness in the fact that you don't know what monsters you're going to encounter but yeah. uh, i think he he's starting to work on the dungeons so I think that's where the randomness can really take effect. Yeah, because the, the, the world map can be the same, but those dungeons yeah. need to be different. Yeah. Well, they don't need to be anything. But I'm, they can be. But if but if they are, that would certainly make me more interested in the game. I'll yeah. put it that way. <laughs> randomness of the monsters there, randomness of the map, randomness of what you could find there. Yeah. That will really... But then I think good. lock... Yeah, and then, and then they're not scaling with you. Removing the Skyrim effect. Oof, I'm, yeah. Personally, I'm just way more interested. I don't love Me that. Me too. Yeah, because um, it makes it pointless. We've discussed that before. Yeah, it's already... Hi. Hey, do that. Pixel just showed up. <laughs> yeah, he's... He's already wrecking shit. <laughs> he's ready Welcome. for... Welcome. Ready for trouble. Um, so, uh, we've got some... Games coming up. Sweet. Let's take a look at what is happening. Yeah, popular. Up. Um, so next uh, episode is going to be with Tanya. We've got some puzzle games. Ooh. I've been storing up some puzzle games. They're going to play Matchy, Melbourne Taddy, Isolate, and 21 Blue, which is a uh, blackjack game. Oh, cool. And then when next Wednesday, which unfortunately you won't be here, I don't think, right? Yeah, I'm getting surgery um, f again. and um, this Secure the... Yes, you know right, what I'm man. About. This is like Brain the, the, all this shit that's going on. <laughs> this is fucking mine. Needs some serious retooling. <laughs> no. Um, so you're gonna be like indisposed. You can't. Yeah. Well, Remember last time? I yeah, because I'm getting. It was like last time I had a cyst removed. And it was. It just you couldn't play. You I wasn't. Play. It wasn't fun. And now you came the day after. Last yeah, time. I did it literally the day after, which was, and then I worked the next, I worked that same day as well. And, and you it was, had bad repercussions, like you ripped the stitches. Yeah, it was awful. So yeah. I'm just going to kind of chill this time and just relax. And yeah. I've been like saving up some, you know, just just, just <laughs> some stuff to sort of chill. Well, that's a good you idea. Know, and so what are you going to be doing when you're, when I'm recovering? You're laid out. Oh, man. Movies? I'm going to be watching some movies. Nice. Um, I'm, I got some TV shows lined up. Nice. I've also got some podcasts I want to listen to. Uh -huh. And then I've also been just planning out my meals just so I could, like, I've been cooking some extra curry so that all I got to do is throw something in a microwave. That's smart. And Very smart. I've been okay. stocking up. Can and then... You, can you do writing or... I, I'll be able to do some writing for yeah. sure, but I think the first two, three days I'll be just totally oh, yeah. out. I got some edibles I'm going to pop and just be <laughs> comatose in for a bit. It's in completely Canada. legal in Canada. Yeah. And it's very... And it's really... Actually, edibles? I don't know. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They're like... Though they're they're, totally, oh, they're, they're okay, completely good. legal here. Okay, good. Um, and the nice thing about that is it's is the, honestly my doctor recommended it to me. Mm. I was talking to my doctor about it, and he What's... he he because in the form you have to go like how much do you smoke pot? And right. so I said like once a week, and my on my form. And then he was, and then when we, we were about to get the surgery last time, he said honestly, it's probably better for you. He said you can smoke as much as you want when you're recovering. He says better for you than taking a bunch of Tylenol. Oh yeah. And yeah. and I was and yeah and he said and you'll have a better time and I was like I just <laughs> well, fist bumped lay... my doctor I'm like man uh, this is why you get paid the big bucks yeah. this is it doesn't great. lay you out as much right yeah and, and you can regulate it a lot more easily totally and, and you can't really overdose on it no so and, it's best of and all you worlds. can just relax and you yeah. actually will enjoy your time a little bit and it's a painkiller and also yes. it's all that stuff so I'm gonna do that for a couple of days and then um yeah. and then I'll be good again and I'll probably but it's, it's a much you'll smaller be back the one. next Wednesday oh yeah definitely. Yeah. I'll be yeah. back. The last one was on my lower back. And so the yeah. problem with the lower back is if you walk, you move, you twist, you're you fucked. You sit, you lay down. It's all fucked. But this one's on my shoulder. 
Yeah. Um, uh, so it's like, uh, it'll be way less intense because I won't, I just have to not move one arm. Versus like yeah. lower back, I didn't realize that everything's connected to the lower back. There's nothing you can do. It's the center yeah. of your body. It's all just... Yeah. I try and avoid most drugs. I mean, if I'm in a lot of pain, mm -hmm. then I'll go for it. But I, I try and tolerate it as much as possible. Yeah. Because, I mean, putting the drugs in your body is it's not... True. The most beneficial thing it's for when it's necessary yeah i'm not if you want to have fun i'm a big fan of drugs but certain categories of drugs i'm not no. a big fan of narcotics or no, like no, no. uppers like pills yeah. things that are highly synthetic right. i i'm just like oh, luckily away. i have no addictive yeah. qual personality qualities in terms of <laughs> gambling or alcohol yeah. or drugs i just don't care if they don't yeah. spark anything in me so it's like, yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah, it's okay when I do it, but it's, yeah, uh, an aspirin or two. Okay. Like drinking pot, light psychedelics. Those are the only things that I'll fuck with. Everything else I try to stay away from yeah. and, and not on a habitual basis. Cause yeah, cause bad, dude, bad news. it's not good. You don't want to, yeah, you, you, you need to live your life. You want to be sober more than you are messed up. Yeah. Uh, and then on next Wednesday, uh, it'll be Tanya here. We'll be doing an evening show. I didn't know show. that. I, I suppose Tylenol's number one cause of liver failure. Makes see, sense, man. See, there's another reason. I has been with a few dozen beers. Yeah, <laughs> that's, my, that's my boy. That's what <laughs> you and me. <laughs> Portland, let's do it. <laughs> so next Wednesday, is we're going to be playing Charge, Star Crusader, Armageddon Complex, and Circus Galacticus. Can't remember yeah. what all those are, but... They looked fun at the time, and I don't know what next Friday I'm planning ahead. So, but I've got oh. two shows lined up, which is good. I've been my biggest thing, my favorite thing. I've been reading Moby Dick. Oh, okay. incredible fucking book, man. Well, it's In endured. It's one of the top, incredible top reference. It takes books. a bit to get into, but uh, okay. fuck, is that a good book? So that's another thing I'm excited to get some Moby Dick reading mm. in. I want to see how much I can get done because that's one of the cool things. Is like when you go over to like reading yeah. i feel like i've seen all not all of but i've seen most of the like mount rushmore movies that are out you know <laughs> yeah. and in through the history but it's cool to pop over to like novels because it's yeah. like i haven't read the greatest novels ever written that's smart to do then yeah so that's that's another thing i want to do too <clears throat> sorry oh we're just gonna wrap it up now I, th yeah. I think uh so thanks everybody for tuning in this was a lot of fun finally yeah. being able to fully explore this game as, as much as possible um and, and our pleasure thrust, he just said yes. this was one uh, came as a surprise. Thanks for spending so much time on it and providing a lot of good feedback. Thank and you that's, for producing an amazing game. Yeah, I mean, it's incredible. Without you guys, we don't have a show. <laughs> yeah, and from honestly, from behind the scenes, there are not that many games we could run, what, three-hour show on. Yeah. Right? No, so is. that is that is a compliment in and of itself. Oh, yeah, um, for sure. Like, there's very few that we've been able to do that with. And, and this they're was, mostly, like, adventure yeah and this this was a great show so yeah. it's like thank, thank you. you for thanks helping Dan. us out man yeah and, and hopefully like the feedback is the most important thing because then we give feedback you to you you get to tweak the game and we get to play it again in a in a, in a more advanced oh, state in a better it's gonna state. be heaven for me man when you make some of these tweaks that's always my favorite oh. is just to see and it's not even it's not even about me it's just cool to see a progression in the fact that like you want we only saw point one. Technically, we that's, only saw that much because there's in there's like two hundred thousand different seeds. Yeah, man, we're on fucking hour like <laughs> nine thousand, just yeah. like. So when it's more tweaked, we'll be able to get further yeah. in the game and get to level three and four and stuff like that. And yeah. see more of the 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 work that you've done, like yeah. the the woman running around and all that. <laughs> Throwing stuff. you back and stealing, so great. stealing your puzzle pieces. Yeah. Um, oh, and I suppose says I was going to recommend Star Crusade. Is an old unfinished one. Yeah, I was digging in the archives a bit for yeah. some because there's some old work in progress games that don't haven't been updated in a long time. So I just dig dig once in a while when there's not any new new games being like yeah. really updated. Um, so I want to thank everybody who dropped by Ice Bosta, uh, Thrust, of course, the developer of the game we played today. Um, Dan ABC Azure six five zero two. Uh, Jewel, Julian, Jewel Nine Ann, yeah, who was asking about Raspberry Pi and a breadboard. Does anyone and know how long this could take? I think that depends on you, man, and yeah, how, your what, scale. what you're trying to do with it, where you want to take it. It doesn't um, sound like it's a hard thing to do. Um, it's just inputs and making sure those buttons are good for yeah. you. Making the soundboard, you know, those soundboards where they can trigger sounds. Oh yeah. I feel like we could use one. It'd be cheesy and morning a.m. radio kind of 
Yeah. Pew, pew, pew. Welcome to K749. Today we're playing Zero Page Homebrew. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. <laughs> <laughs> wah, 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 wah. Terrible. Yeah. Um, I'm happy that world is gone, pretty much. <laughs> into the new podcasting world. Yeah. Uh, who else was hanging around? Uh, RC7E, Thunkist. Azure, yeah. Azure. Paper Mario was here for Paper a bit. Mario. That was yep. awesome. That's uh, that's everybody who spoke up. Oh, Ground Trooper. Was in and out the whole time. Uh, Mostly uh, out. Losing consciousness. Hey, man, that's going to be me <laughs> post-Tuesday. <laughs> yep. Oh, thank you for the link. Oh, thanks, I'm supposed to. Sure, I've Dude, I suppose always got our back, one. man. I appreciate that. I'll make sure I have the most up-to-date one when we play it. Uh, never mind, looks like Star Master Phaser Patrol. Okay, ah. I'm not sure what that... Oh, you wanted... Oh, I see. Thrust wanted to know. Um, so, yeah, we'll be back on Friday evening with another show, 6 p.m. Pacific time, and that'll be Tanya, and then Tanya next Wednesday to sub yeah. in. Oh, that's awesome. Airline. And it'll be evening, probably. It'll be an evening show. Just, so yeah. the evening uh, portion of it, the 6 p.m. Pacific, yeah, whatever it is I'll, in your land. I'll be back in, in two weeks, and I can let you yep. know what kind of adventures I go on in my... Uh, that's right. In, in my... What kind of crazy things in I watch. out of consciousness. And yeah. <laughs> discoveries I make about the human mind. <laughs> that's right. You can discover <laughs> yourself. Yeah. Find yourself again. So thanks a lot for tuning in yet again and tolerating us. And we will see you uh, on Friday in him in two weeks. Yeah, see you guys in two weeks. Have a really good time. Yep. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.